Hello there everybody, good evening, hope you're having a good day. So today we have the grand final for the TUS rotated league playoffs for season 29. Senator versus Gonzalo, we have Dead Code Ichiko and KRD here commentating with us today, if you want to say hello. Hello. Which order? Hello. <laughs> hey, hey. Which order? So, Dead Code's going to explain sort of what's going to happen with uh, how we're going to present the, the match today. Take it away. Right. Well, I'm running a special build that um, lets me see what crates people are collecting. So, I will be able to explain um, what weapons both players have uh, collected so far and, and be able to analyze their strategy in light of that information. We also get to see what crates are on the map, right? What's inside them. Um, it depends on which scheme is being used. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is something we should arrange with the players beforehand then. Right, so there's players two choices. Then. One is that... Right, the, um, so there's two choices. Then. One is determined right. when... Yeah, so there's two. And um, the other is uh, that they're determined when they fall. But even in the, the former, determined when they're collected, it's um, still determined whether they're super or not at the time they fall. So that right. much can be um, anticipated. Yeah, so in a, in a way, uh, this is an anti-cheating measure, right? Uh, but since since we're streaming create contents anyway, it doesn't matter whether or not that, that setting is enabled or disabled. So whether or not crates are determined when they fall or when they're collected. Right, we're we're leaving I mean it's on the honor system that both players are not going to be stream sniping. Right, yeah. yeah, for the record, uh it is it is completely unacceptable for someone to be stream sniping and, and looking at the stream as they're playing their own match. This is something that ha has not happened before in, in any event that's been streamed, but in the future, right, if it does happen, then m maybe the format changes and we start streaming with a, with a higher delay or something like that. To try and I mean, to delay would, would solve everything, because, um, I mean, even without sharing crate contents, there's still the issue of um, speculating on strategy, and you could give yeah, players ideas yeah. merely with that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like we're a small enough community that that it's too risky, right? If you're a player and you're trying to cheat in this specific way, I, I feel like it's just a matter of time before you're gonna get found out. Right. right. And then and then everyone's gonna be mad at you for the rest of time, and you're gonna have exactly. to I don't know, change uh, nicknames and pretend you're someone else, and that's not ideal. Right? Well, let's this is something that comes up in. Oh, sorry. No, no, go, go, keep. So, yeah, it started with eight saying. contestants and it's down to two now we, in, in the final. All of the um, previous matches were done um, best of five, which means um, play to the first who wins three rounds. Oh, actually, but, um, one of them wasn't. Uh, Chick Chicken and Salo played best of four as well. Uh, best of seven, I mean. Oh, first of four. Interesting. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, because their score was four to two for, for Salo. But anyway, um, yeah, this final is going to be done best of seven. Which is good. Yeah, it's going see to be fun. More matches, yeah. not fewer. Um, and it's between two players who have a very girder block heavy style, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, they do. Yeah. Salo does play that way as well. I didn't know that. I, I would have taken well, he him. He certainly for played him. that way against me, and he um, yeah, yeah, yeah. pummeled me. I mean, he won three to zero against me. Well, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. probably a bunch of reasons that that could have happened, right? Uh, I, I, I haven't uh, yet been able to watch those matches though, so if you have any insights from them, then share them, please. I haven't watched them since playing them yet. So, okay, uh, um, right now Zalo wrote on uh, Wormnet, in around 10-15 minutes I will be ready for playoffs. Okay, and no problem. Is, yeah, it has Right, that uh, that's written that right. No. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure can, I'm sure we've got plenty to talk about until then. We can talk oh, about yeah. how how we got to this point, so how this scheme in particular evolved because although it is 
uh, just the general Team 7 team. It is everybody heavily focused more on the island Team 17, so maybe you want to explain how we went through, like, how we yeah. got from Worms League uh, a year or two ago, trying to merge with Worms Roper, the guys from Worms 2, and how oh, it led yeah, to yeah. this. Well, there was even before that, there was something, but... Um, so yeah, yeah there's a I lot mean, of Team 17 began yeah. as a, <clears throat> a scheme played on the um, built-in ranking system that um, was around for about a year. Uh, there was a channel dedicated to it. The channel was called Team 17 League. And the, yeah. the scheme was actually called 1%. That's um, right, yeah. So, I mean, it could have historically happened that people called the scheme 1%, but they they went with the name Team Seventeen, and uh, just because it's a better name, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. It um, is. I can understand the logic of one percent. It's about like each crate has about a one percent chance of appearing. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Eh, but that's, um, that's just too complicated. <laughs> uh, so well, there were a lot of, I mean, in those days, um, it could be played on any type of random map. They were Cabin in practice Island, as well. Any... Pardon me? They were in practice as well. Uh, like yes. About half the games were played on islands, half on cavern maps. It didn't matter. And I, um, and then after the leagues were taken down, the, the built-in ones, um, there, there were various variants of the scheme going around. Um, and like some of them even allowed collecting rope crates which uh, was pretty weird, like the FB scheme, I believe. And some of them allowed collecting kamikaze crates. But, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, there, there, was a, there was, I think, a short period in the first Blood League, yeah, where kamikaze was being experimented with. Uh, I don't think it was uh, for, for most of the duration of the first Blood, of the first blood League, though. Uh, that was just an experiment. I think uh, eventually uh, First, the first Blood League decided that no, Kamikaze is not good in the scheme. And so that is now, up until today, the only weapon that is not available uh, in the Team 17 scheme. Right. As well as all the utilities, of course. Not, not oh, right. Available, yeah. yeah. Um, Fortnite Battle but I mean, Pass, I just I wanna, shit out my ass booted up my PC because I need so much need variety to get that Fortnite Battle Pass. I like just Fortnite. Almost everything Did I in mention game. Fortnite? Yeah. I like Fortnite. It's night time. I mean, and, it's five uh, o'clock. So yeah, well, at a certain point, I remember Cartoon Network. Um, and, looked in some old logs and I found that the uh, a snapshot of the state of the Team Seventeen scheme at the end of the leagues. At the end of the official rankings, so I, are, yeah. I posted it as a scheme file, and then a lot of people started using that. That's not, and I, I didn't intend that. I meant I intended it to be um, out of historical curiosity. Yeah, and I remember I didn't, this. Um, because it really it wasn't such a good version of the scheme, the, the last yeah, one, no, the version that was being used. This was the one with, with the five star power blowtorch and drill, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, oh, five star God. blowtorch and drill, um, hundred damage longbow, um, yeah. no hot seat time. Um, but uh, I mean, yeah, I, well, basically, I'll, I'll, this scheme has had a lot of different slight variations of it that people played over the years. Like, uh, this was the case with most schemes uh, back in the days, right, in the early 2000s, where everyone just had their own variant of a scheme that they used when they hosted, right? And when you joined someone else's game, there, there were slight surprises quite often in, in the peculiarities of the scheme that you'll end up playing with. But the, mo most people didn't care that much about that then. I would be fascinated to know what all the iterations of the scheme were um, back in the built-in leagues. Cause I heard that the um, all yeah. the schemes went through variations, and uh, yeah, yeah. I only came yeah. onto the scene in uh, the end of two thousand. Well, you say only. <laughs> Yeah, but, but the, the the leagues were taken already taken down at that point. Yeah, and I got to yeah. play against some players who had been around when the leagues were up. But uh, right, yeah. And MPH hey. was um really great at Team Seventeen. Yeah, and, he um, was. Yeah. 
I mean, back so when actually, he was still playing, I never beat him on a round of Team 17. Oh, wow. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> like, usually most MPH stories that people have have to do with the Elite scheme, where they say they were never able to beat him at Elite, but you have this oh. same story for Team 17 as well. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that just tells you that he was actually just a legendary player. Yeah. Well, I actually have a question if you want to answer one of my curiosity related to oh. Worms uh, world, okay? And uh, since I am pretty new to the to the game and I'm playing this game online since one year, let's let's say this, and I've noticed that uh, um, a good part of the online activity has been done uh, in a Worms War Party. So I noticed that many people come from Worms War Party servers and games. And I remember that there was the so-called Worm Pot. Um, oh, that I, was um, good. Yeah. And I, uh, it, it came into my mind because you were talking about uh, a five stars blowtorch five a five stars a pneumatic drill and if you remember well in that warm pot there was also mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. ability uh, to um to make your blowtorch last many seconds so the worm could dig more than usual and was that a thing that was considered uh, fair or um, used in uh, Team 17 schemes if uh, you oh, um, used to play well, those schemes? I, as far as I know, nobody uh, experimented with that, but... Uh... Yeah, not, not in the T17 scheme. Nobody ever used that. And I think like many of the worm pot settings uh, were just discarded as something that wasn't that interesting for, for uh, actually competitive play, right? But but some of them, as it happens, right, the sticky terrain mode for for the warmer yeah. scheme. And uh, uh, there was there was another one where uh, each of the each of the wheels in the worm pot settings had uh, allowed you to select uh, overpowered uh, F4 weapons, so Fire Punch, Prod, Dragon Ball. And if you selected that option on all three of them, you, you could make the the Prod weapon in the game just ridiculously powerful. So you would Prod a worm, it would go flying out of the map. Uh, but, that, um, that, was I mean, the, thing, that was one thing whole, that people did, did play around yeah. with. The whole concept of Worm Pot seems to be, I mean, seems to me, always seemed to me to be something more... Uh, just for casual messing yeah. around, not yeah, for serious I play. Um, well, I, I mean, yeah. I, under, I understand, in theory, an advantage of that system is that you could see in a glance what yeah. option somebody has enabled. I mean, there's never more than three. But for yeah, serious play... Yeah, there were more like modifiers I, in some shooter games. Some shooter games let you modify around with the modifier, and usually there's not that many, right? There's just a few checkbox. And and I think that's where Team 17 got the inspiration for the implementation of Worm Pop. Uh, uh, Worm's Armageddon was always a slightly more technical and, and less, less casual-friendly game. So I think uh, it makes sense to implement those Worm Pot options in Worm's Armageddon a little differently, right? So, the, so they're less accessible, but there's more of them. You're more free. Yeah. High yeah um, so you can get... Um, yeah, the, well, the, the plan is to have, um, have enough customizability so you could do everything that Worm Pot allowed, but uh, yeah. not limited in such a way. Yeah. Yeah, although it is interesting, and this is something that's come up over the years quite a lot, is that Wormpot is one of the things where Worms World Party is still a ahead in in quote in quotation marks. Of yeah, and then Worms Two is but, ahead in that it uh, lets yeah, you change yeah, the options yeah. for every weapon. Yeah, um, uh, technically Worms Two is even more ahead, right? Because it just lets you tweak things that that Worms Armageddon never has, and maybe never will. But maybe. Oh well, I mean, yeah, the plan is to to. Let you tweak even more, yeah. but uh, it's not there yet. Well, I think that uh, by the way, Wompot had some special features that uh, are not uh, uh, somehow uh, doable in Worms Armageddon regarding uh, sticky terrain and uh, some other stuff. Well, you could do the sticky stuff. terrain thing, the friction the is adjustable. Terrain is now possible. Yeah, yeah. apart as from as those as things. 
apart from those things, uh, one of the one of my favorite what? Uh, okay. Look at uh, look at the Twitch chat, right. Gregor. That is all right. I've beaten you before. <laughs> sure. That is so perfect. Sorry. Jesus, how do you get that? <laughs> that's not okay. And that's that's actually run. That's actually RNG. So don't blame me. <laughs> I mean, I, I wait, that, that's a bad. Yeah, the it's a little bit of code that my friend wrote for uh, commands that people can use in the channel. <laughs> what are the odds to get it exactly now? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, um. I don't know the whole story behind it, but um, at some point, people decided, a lot of people, at least decided that Team 17 was meant to be played on dual layer caverns only, and not other yeah. styles of map. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this is the part of the story that I know the most uh, out of everyone here about, because I was I was specifically there for this, and I, I was watching it how how it happened. First of all, on the on the uh, Worms League uh, forums where the, the, those discussions happened, right? And then by the time we played Team Seventeen in the CL2K League, which was uh, running up to around I want to say two thousand and four, maybe two thousand and five. Um, by then, most good players were already just completely focused on double cavern maps. And then, by by first by the first blood era of leagues of Worms Armageddon, you ha you even had this uh, uh, this narrowing go even narrower, where, where people not only were only playing Team Seventeen on on the double cavern preset, they also practically always just use the fruit texture uh, for the terrain <laughs> as well. And, and oh. by, by that point, I was already pretty upset because the Elite variety too. was getting lost, right? It was getting lost. It, it became a slippery slope, basically, where, where people were optimizing this one singular way of playing the scheme to, to a point uh. of... of ignoring everything else about the scheme right and then by that <laughs> point I, I i think uh, uh, a bit of a coalition formed among some uh, old school players that that maybe we should be maybe we should be going and pushing in the other direction right and, and trying to introduce more variety back into the schemes right because because a similar thing at that time already happened with bng bazooka and grenades as well where the only texture used for that was the forest one right from from first generation worms games and and maps were getting flatter and flatter and right. that was that was that was particularly personally my uh, my pet peeve, right, where I specifically wanted BNG played on, on more random maps, not on that one single type. This has happened to a bunch of skins over the years, though, but I, I think at some point we're going to have to go all the way back. But, I mean, as for the theory behind it, I think it's because uh, people felt that there was too much luck involved in Island Team 17. Yeah, yeah, um, that, that's usually part of the reasoning, yeah. But, uh, I mean... Even, I don't honestly think that's true, though. It, it, like, intuitively, no. it would make sense that there's there's more big weapons, right? And there's airstrikes, and some of the airstrikes are quite RNG. So you would, you would think that this would be the danger. But, like, when you try playing the scheme... Uh, on that one cavern press preset versus on any island preset, I think I think it is possible to note that it's not actually that much more RNG and that much more random and yeah. that much less skillful to play on islands. Because I think specifically that it is more skillful. There's just so much more variety introduced by all of the new weapons that you can collect, uh, all of the airstrikes, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, that th there's more to play around and there's more weapons to to learn to be good at. So I think that more than compensates for for just there being more more big weapons, right? And then, and a really annoying thing about Cavern Team 17 is it uh, really often comes down to just who has collected Aqua Sheep or has who has more of the more Aqua Sheep during a sudden yeah. death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's um, not it's not just aqua sheep, right? You can get homing pigeons. You can get passes magic bullet. You can get uh, well, what's the third one? Uh, well, whatever. Oh yeah, homing missile, uh, right? Nuke uh, test. 
Oh yeah, nuke test, earthquake. There, there's some some uh, outcomes to quarantine, sure. quarantine rounds that just there are yeah. things that you have to play around because they're the things you're mo most likely to lose to. But like, if your opponent gets those things and you don't, uh, the the end game of quarantine seventeen rounds can be quite repetitive and even boring and frustrating. Because if you don't get the right things in your crates, there's just nothing you can do. Whereas on an island mm -hmm. map, you have much much more freedom. Right? You, you can choose mm -hmm. to further block. You can choose to play B and G across the entire map. You can choose to save now, your rope or use your rope early. Right? Now, on the other hand, there are, it often does come up an island that there's simply no way to win if the other player has rope. Or even if they don't sometimes, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I feel like that's, that's an interesting uh, tactical point, though, where uh, you, can, you can see that sort of end game coming uh, on Island Team 17, and you can uh, more early on start and divide the map using girders, right? And maybe, maybe you're able to block yourself off to your portion of the map or a specific cave on the map where you're getting crates, right? And as long as you're getting crates and collecting crates uh, on Island Team 17, maps uh, it is always possible to get something right maybe it's armageddon maybe maybe mm. it's the nuke test maybe it's just something good right and maybe it's yeah. scales of justice and i, I lost i wonder if that would be and, you know worth doing that um preemptively like that because uh i mean there's definitely well, attacks you know. imposed by that like um if you do that on every match it, it's uh yeah it'll make you, you lose some proportion that you wouldn't that you would have been able to one win otherwise, and then yeah, but you would be sabotaging yourself in other ways. Yeah, if you if the grades just fall differently. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, so... this this is specifically the sort of thing that makes me say that Team Seventeen on Island Map on Island Maps is very strategic. That's been 17 minutes now since Ichiko left oh, a yeah. message. Have we heard any word from? Gonzalo, yeah. I'm checking out. Gonzalo, be right back. Okay. I'm checking more net now. I'm actually gonna gonna so, message them as well. So for those watching the stream, I was just showing the playoffs so far for Senator and Gonzalo to show the opponents they've came across and who they beat in the score, so you could see. Uh, the opponents and how they got to the final here. Both players are have impressed me a lot. Uh, well, all of them have impressed me quite a lot because I'm quite new to watching Island Team 17 in general, but Gonzalo especially, I'm quite impressed with. Um, when I first, like knew about Zalo, uh, obviously we had our differences, <laughs> uh, let's say, but uh, yeah, we, we, we came to an understanding a while back and I actually feel like he's one of the top strategical players on in Worms Armageddon in general. It, it, even if it's a scheme that he's not good at yet, if he enjoys it, he will become a top player at it. He's a natural and it's nice to see that. And Senator also, his improvement over the past four or five years, maybe six years, when I first started hearing of him, when we were playing them in Clanners back when I was in CFC, it was probably even longer than that. He right, is yeah. so good now compared compared to then Vok as well. The two of those the two of those players together have learned so much, and they're both. They're both like really, really capable of giving top players a challenge in every single scheme. Every scheme. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I think Senator and Vox specifically played together so much because they were first of all clanmates, right? And they both finished as well. So they they ended up playing together a lot and improving together, like uh, dragging each other up, right? In terms of yeah. their skill level. And so I think that helped make it happen quicker, right? And yeah. so they're just both very good now. Like, even, even I'll admit, um, in the past, I was a little bit short-sighted. And, uh, well, obviously, I joined in the, the, the mob mentality there, making and mocking mole shopper and stuff. But <laughs> I gave it a chance. I'm still and I, that. I, I gave it a chance, and at the time, I did watch Zalo playing Mo Shopper, and while I don't oh, like it as a yeah. player, like, that's fair enough, mm -hmm. I still saw how 
strategical it was. I still seen how mechanical it was, and in its own right, it is a really, really competitive scheme. And I, I feel like it's got a lot of similarities to Team Seventeen yep. in the sense that, well, obviously it's a shopper scheme, but you've got to adapt to each turn and do your best with the mechanical skills you've got. And there's 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 also that like luck factor with the crates that you get at each moment, but it generally does mostly come down to skill. And we've seen players yeah, like I think it's Magnus. Also, even, even, though, even though it's random, right? Even though it's random, yes. you can play in a way where you optimize the odds for yourself uh, against your opponent. And if one player is doing that and the other isn't, uh, you do get an, a, a tactical advantage from that, from just knowing what can be and what can't be in crates and how you're maybe going to plan around that and m make it so that when you use the weapons that you do get, uh, y you optimize the damage and the plops and the kills that you get from that, right? Yeah. It's just team are you talking about? Uh, just we were comparing Team 17 oh, and Mole Shopper. Shopper now, actually. What, what Shopper? Mole Shopper. Mole Shopper. Oh, Mole Shopper. Yeah. I mean, I I, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't like playing it, but I don't like playing Team Seventeen or Intermediate either. But I love <laughs> yeah. watching them. I love watching. What I love most about these schemes, this is me, just me personally, is individual turns where we get to see really really creative turns and people thinking on their feet and how they do that mechanically as well. Sometimes I'm just left thinking, wow, they are just so good at times. And that, that's what I love most about these things as a, a fan of watching these, obviously, as a player, you'll have other feelings as well. Well, the thing is, with, with uh, all shopper schemes, this it's always going to be this element of randomness. But like... Mm. Uh, as, as as was said in the in the article uh, that I that I was telling you about the other day about Magic the Gathering, right? Uh, as soon as you introduce RNG, so randomness into a game, uh, the yeah. problem isn't the problem isn't the RNG and that this and that the game is now luck based, right? The problem is players' perception of of how this is going to affect the outcome of the match. So even if in reality introducing RNG to, to a game, to whatever game, like be the card game or a computer game or whatever, uh, even if that in, in, in theoretical terms like increases the, 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 skill, the skill ceiling of the game, uh, but if the players perceive it as, as lowering the skill level, you still have the problem of having to convince the players that the game is like worth playing, right? And, and yes. with RNG specifically, this, this is a problem that, that comes up a lot in, in basically every game that has in part uh, that comes in part down to RNG. Yeah, that's actually something that I came to realize. I think it was maybe last year while having a conversation that I was. I wasn't saying the wrong thing, but I was using the wrong words, and they were they they were seeing it differently than how I intended it. Which is, it's not luck based, as in it lowers the skill because it doesn't. In a way, it creates different opportunities of skill is how i would see it so i've never saw yeah. it when i say oh it's a luck-based scheme i don't mean yeah. oh y you can't win that by skill mm -hmm. is that like you're lucky if you that's not what i mean it's just uh exactly, yeah. yeah it's just that uh, um it doesn't lower the skill it's just that randomness that you said and that's I've, I've already explained to you. Yeah, I've already explained to you how I prefer more controlled environments for competitive yeah, yeah. stuff. But yeah, uh, it's still amazing to watch, and when when especially as you play season seasons as well, it all balances up and adds up, and it's always it is usually always the more skilled players that come out on top, and that's what I like to see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've seen we've seen historically someone like uh, Wyvern from uh, he used to be my clanmate in SFX, right? Uh, during the first Blood days, he he had a ninety percent win rate over something like two hundred games for Team Seventeen. Now, granted, that was uh, on cavern maps, basically exclusively, right? But but having a ninety percent win rate over so many matches played during the era of Worms that was possibly maybe the most competitive out of all eras, right? Uh, 
Mm, I, I think that I think that tells us that even Team Seventeen can can be can be a very skill based scheme. So, of course, that, I, mean, I don't I probably can't compare that with uh, TRL yeah, yeah, win yeah. ratios because I'm. Um, there's it's just far fewer player beginning level players taking part in TRL. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, comparing statistics uh, between different leagues, even between different seasons of the same league, right? And it's an ungrateful task because there's so much that can change. Uh, but it is obvious now that we're playing the way uh, the TRL seasons, the previous one and the current one uh, are played, are just among players who are all good and they can all win against each other. Whereas during during more active eras in terms of uh, competitive worms and again it, it was very much possible to to for someone to just play against players who were who were not as good as them right and we don't have that option now but i think that makes it more fun for us to take part in in competitive play right now so i'm not complaining really. even though it would be great to have more players taking part uh, in competitive play again all right so senator says i should be hosting Ah, right, so oh, we're right. Okay. Are you going to host? Talo connected. Yeah, looks like, looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, so Senator was waiting for quite a while for Salo, but now they're both online, and it looks Great. like they elected me as the host. Going to do it in a second. Excellent. So we're about to begin. All right. Here we go. The host should be off now. Yeah. All right. We have Senator. We have Sal already. Gonna get the scheme. Gonna get some maps. We can get going. Uh, so, which colors did you have uh, selected for them? Then? So, red for Senator, blue for Gonzalo. But they can use whatever they want. So, I, I can right. change. I can change that as the game plays. Actually, I can change it now if they change it otherwise. Yeah, we're going with right. that color scheme. So right now, I think that we should also discuss not only the strategy uh, between Gonzalo and Senator, which uh, who are very talented players, but uh, I also want to focus the attention on the luck of these two players. Because oh, yeah, sure. if you remember well, a senator had uh, six uh, or something uh, aqua sheep in the last match. Yeah, so yeah. I'm very lucky to, <laughs> yeah. Got, uh, <laughs> yeah, to get that. And uh, as far as I, I am concerned, you know. Gonzalo is very uh, lucky because <laughs> with me he had a huge luck because he got almost always uh, powerful weapons. Well, I had only stupid weapons like handgun or uh, <laughs> girder pack or something. And in packs, general, okay. yeah, not at the very beginning of not the game early because on. if oh, you have yeah. a teleport, you can move, so it's totally useless. Yeah. And in order to survive and to use a uh, girder pack in a smart way, I should wait for more um, powerful weapons to roast my opponent. And to wait for SD to come, as uh, so my so the random uh, the, the worm select is not uh, allowed anymore, and so uh, I think that uh, in general both of them are surely good players, talented and with lots of years behind of a practice of wins and losses, so they have a lot of experience. Not like mine, which lasts like one year or something. But I think that maybe uh, Madame Luck <laughs> has helped them a lot, a, a bit, at least uh, in these matches. So this time I want also to, to see who has the best strategy and the best luck. Right, a, a wordy warning before we begin. Uh... I hope when we switch to the game that I haven't screwed up the overlay because I was testing something, so I hope it works out okay. But anyway, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The grand final. This is what it's all came down to. Senator versus Gonzalo. 
May the best man win. Just waiting for Gonzalo. That was a bit anticlimactic there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had a feeling he was probably just taking a quick uh, BRB. Maybe, maybe getting a drink or something. Oh, Gemma's birthday today. Happy birthday, Gem, if you're listening. Oh, interesting. Happy birthday. <laughs> Whose birthday is today? I'm sure James will get you something very nice. It's, uh, it's 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 one of my friends uh, that I met through Daisy a while back. Uh, they're they're engaged. They're getting married and stuff. And it's uh, Gemma's birthday today, so they're just doing wedding stuff. Yeah, this is something in Twitch chat right now. Okay, I thought it was uh, he was one of the, your our warmest friends. <laughs> Yeah, at first when you said uh, Jay, I thought That's you said Jim. Like James, Jimmy. James D. He's the one that uh, wrote the initial code for my Twitch commands. Um, and oh, obviously, of obviously, I just reverse engineered them and sort of changed them and experimented. And voila, that's what we've got now. So thanks, James. I appreciate it. So in terms of luck, there's basically four kinds that you could get in Team 17. There's the luck in the initial, position, initial positions, luck in the crates, luck in the wind you get on every turn. And then there's moves that you take, which, well, okay, actually five types, because there's also luck in what the fire does. But then the fifth kind right. is deterministic luck, where, um, I mean, theoretically, the move you took is deterministic, but... Um, little tiny changes in angle or when you press a button has a kind of magnified effect and you may, may not really have conscious control over that, how it turns out. So, I mean, that can be thought of as luck, even though it's deterministic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do think uh, in the Burns community specifically, like that, that, last, part, that uh, last category of luck that you mentioned, most Competitive players, at least, would say that uh, this is not luck, right? Oh, so um, we're changing players well, now. wants to, uh, yeah. Yeah, he wants to be part of. <laughs> we we waited like half an hour. It's fine. Yeah. I see it. Beautiful. Let's go. Alright, so I gave them I gave them a slightly lower fruit map. Uh, just just so that I'm gonna have more room for uh, giving them more more complex maps where the top is like higher up, right? Uh, that's gonna be happening in further rounds. And I think in a best of uh, in a best of seven, there's gonna be a lot of room to, to give them a, a high variety of different maps. Oh. All right, let's see what happens then. Actually, I was. Uh, so we have a close up spawns. pop hole yeah. there that's uh, not actually poppable as it is. Right, yeah, and Zala specifically checked whether, whether or not that was wide enough to fit the worm, and it looks like it's not. He's maybe still going to go for some sort of set setup on this Miko worm, so that like using any weapon, or maybe even a blowtorch, oh, he's going to do it on the next turn. That's yeah. really but, a good no. idea. Yeah, yeah he decides he, decided he wasn't in a good position there either. Yeah. yeah, I think this is something that comes up quite often with these center pop plop hole maps where uh, you can decide to go for something, but quite often it turns out that it's better to just play slightly more slowly and play for position, right? And maybe play for, for more crates picked up because that's going to give you more options to, to deal with something like a central pile of worms anyway. So Senator has just pitted himself. Um... Yeah, it didn't look like that jump was possible, though, to get onto the uh, strawberry to the right. Yeah, um, I think it would have been possible to go into the strawberry, maybe, but he has um, yeah. given up that chance, chance yeah. now. He, ha he has gotten a crate, though, this round, right? Mm. So, what, so, what, so what did they have so far? So, right, yeah. Um, 
Zalo got an, an axe and Senator got a homing missile. Got a now it's all axe is good. A, a I, like, I like getting the axe early. Just get it, get the 75 damage in on one of the worms. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that, that opens up the round in, in a particular way where now you uh, know. Ooh, I saw the anime. Yeah. Uh, but Joe, yeah. Oh, I missed yeah. a jump there that was. I would call uh, that luck based because you can't yeah, really predict whether that jump is going to work or a bit. But um, under your definition, that would not be luck. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I think there, there was a way he could have uh, predicted that that was possible, right? And selected parachute. And as soon as he. As, as soon as he saw it, it the jump was not going to work, activate parachute and land safely on the left again. It would require a very quick reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that's and in the some fire, circumstances, you have. can't recover. You simply can't. Yeah. This jump is possible now, though, onto the apple. Okay. So mm -hmm. the girdle that Senator placed on the previous turn, uh, that was that was the thing that I mentioned earlier, right? Where, where sometimes you decide that you're going to have to be the one to split the map into two. And he split it in such a way that now his, his left side worms can get to the right with, with the right win. But the, the other two worms on the right can't get to the left. And that is, that is a very smart, very good early oh. girdle. No, he's using... Uh... A missile? Yeah, lucky, I like this. Just, will to, pit. just to make some damage, okay? Or maybe well, if he's, he's lucky, he will block. also... Um... Look, 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 look. Ah, oh. yeah, just... So nope. yeah, that yeah. was not as lucky as it could yeah. have been. Um, if he had pitted Gast into that uh, place with the oil drum... Yeah, that would have been or much better. Maybe on the landmine on the right, it could that yeah, have that, been that was a possibility as well. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, no, the mine. I was thinking about. Uh, I was thinking I about that. I don't. You could, know if that was you even could do possible. A tool assisted. Yeah, maybe it's not, but you could try it using the tool assisted build, right? Get him onto the uh, mine that's just below the orange, and then that mine propels him to the next mine, and then he plops. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It's not impossible. This is the sort of next level uh, play that you really need if you want to have it. Why bother getting him to the second mine if you could just plop him straight from the first yeah, mine? Yeah, yeah. Then this I jump mean, is maybe, very... Maybe uh, yeah, it's better if you move, actually. Oh, okay. he decides to go for oh, the axe. Okay, an axe, like okay. It. I like this. This is, this is the more aggressive play, and he's putting he's putting one of the worms that is likely to teleport up top to to half HP. So that worm is going to be much easier to deal with once he goes up top with it, right? So we have a super crate just appeared on the left. Ooh. Right, fixed. That's not a bad hide. Now. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, oh damn. damn. He's got a retreat well. Did he jump again to the right? Nope. Yeah, he did. He definitely oh. had time to jump to the right, I think. Just didn't um, get it. Well, I mean, the, the play there, if you're going for the Dragon Ball, is to uh, jump and immediately Dragon Ball, and then you're not going to get uh, yeah. knocked yeah, yeah, yeah. down. With yeah, that could have been avoided completely by doing that. Yeah, it could have, yeah. On the other hand, did he did he give uh, Zala a better way up here? I think maybe he has. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah this is a more reliable jump. Okay. No, I don't know if that because he got the strong left wind. Okay, we can do it again. Yeah, he's still trying to go for that jump. Uh, does he need to though? Because I think we know that he has dynamite because he keeps flashing it, right? Oh, he got, oh, he got jump. the jump. He did, he did. Oh, is he going to get a pop with the dynamite? I, th I think he can. I think he can. If he drops the dynamite low enough so that it's at the bottom of, of that hole, then he gets it. He's got to drop it early, though. Ooh, this is good. Ah, Ooh, that looks pretty promising. This was good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. That was this excellent. That was clever. Yeah, I, I like wow. the jump. Now, he did make himself poppable because um, he's standing on a steep slope there. He can be backflip dragon balled. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. The problem with that is, like, if Senator is going down there, he's pitting himself. Uh, maybe, he, maybe he does it with the all. It might be worth doing that with an unhealthy worm. I mean, right now all his worms are healthy, but uh, one of them gets heavily hurt. Could be a good idea. Yeah. And going yeah, down so into a, a very a, fair, a fairly pitted place with an unhealthy worm. Um, what you're saying is that. Uh, like if the opponent 
goes down to kill that worm, they are pitting themselves. And if your worm is unhealthy, they, m they might consider it not as worthwhile to do that just for killing yeah. a low health worm. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is something that comes up quite often. Yeah. Where you say, this is a worm that I don't care about that much anymore, either because it's like sick or uh, low HP already in the early game. And uh, at that point, you can get more brave with that particular worm. Maybe maybe you even collect something like that crate that's in the top right of the map right now. And you say, if you go for a turn, and you, if you use a turn to kill off my low HP worm there, I'm, I'm not even that sad. Because, first of all, I got the crate already, right? And also... Positionally, I'm gonna probably come out ahead of this exchange as well, and yeah. that is another another thing where uh, Team Seventeen gets very interesting. Like knowing which play is correct and when to bait, and when baiting is not good enough. Right? Uh, this right. is the sort of skill that you develop over years and decades. No, and in order to get that crate in your guest, maybe uh, he could have used the Valtteri, maybe. Or, That's uh, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Well, Terry already has a pretty good position. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, he would have uh, go come back into the position because the wind was good, or maybe Dalek Three teleported back to the strawberry. Oh, you mean not to teleport that, to the? Uh, you mean to um, parachute? Wanted, yeah. Mm -hmm. Parachute over there, get the crate, and then teleport back. That's what yeah, he could have. Yeah. I, I, I think this is. I think this is the sort of thing that I get wrong myself quite often. Is where I decide to go for a turn with my unblocked worm because it's the better turn. But that means that I'm leaving more of my worms in a block, and and like that. That is something that can snowball, and it, it yeah. can even blast until the late game. And then That's if I still have. Once sudden that hits, I still have some blocked up worms. That that can punish me quite severely, and it does. So I um, erred on the side of um, moving my unblocked worms against my uh, semifinal with Gonzalo, and it that yeah. could have been part of why I. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think whenever you're playing against Senator or anyone else who who likes to use girders a lot, this is something that you absolutely need to keep in mind. And and I often fail at that, so that's that's how I know that it's important. This is an interesting escape, though. I uh, think it you is could have used cool. parachute just then. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Exactly. I think he knew immediately when he got when he got the bump on the backflip backflip back flip facing the other way. That is that's that jump that possible jump. there? Oh yeah, of course it is from there. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was surprised though that uh, on the previous turn, uh, Senator with his Saku worm uh, went for the fire punch. Why wouldn't he just yeah. invade? So he's the got right Uzi side and, and mine. Right. Um, and, and wait, I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is kind. This could be a good scum. Uh, he, yeah, okay, he had Longbow yeah. and Skunk. That were the, those were the choices. Damn. Uh, I think Skunk, skunk is good. And there. he accidentally <laughs> got himself sick, but he got two of Zalzala's worms sick. So that's yeah. he got out on top of that exchange. Get on up. No, so it looks I like Zala. You don't have the sort of problem. Oh. Oh, 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 he got it. Wow, that, that was, was very good. Ooh. Wow. He called it as well in the chat. That's a that's a power play right there. Ooh. I'm shocked. <laughs> Did that work? And, yeah. and about <laughs> also about uh, this, the effect sentence he just wrote, I hope you don't have fear of swimming, and then boom, boom. <laughs> wow. That is no, very, very completely nice. irrelevant that that worm was sick. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think that's actually why that uh, an unideal fight happened is that Senator was just disappointed that he didn't get the the perfect double skunk and avoided skunking himself, and that's that's when he forgot about his retreat because he could have easily uh, retreated somewhere where that plot was not possible. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. That is, again, the sort of thing that does happen to you when you're playing Team 17, where uh, you have to sometimes keep your eye on two things on two things at the same time. And, and that's quite hard, for, especially for some players. More for some than for others, right? Now he's going for Saku, I think. Doing what? 
Yeah, I feel like Zalo, Zalo at this point thinks he's had okay weapons. He needs more weapons because the ones he currently has uh, are not that great, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But he, he could even get a mind pop here again, and that would be very upsetting for Senator. And I think no, that's no, not a flop fun. again. <laughs> no. he, he's gonna try for it. He's gonna try for it. This is this yeah, is the sort of thing. possible. Yeah, I mean, no, come this on, is the sort of thing you go for block, when you're ahead. No, 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 it's, it's gonna not get possible. Him. No, Papa, not possible. Okay. It's impossible. No, I can't believe At this believe point, it. at this point, Senator is gonna be very upset about how this round progressed. My that was God. good, though. That was good. No. Yeah, I think uh, somewhere, or somewhere around that turn before the skunk turn is where Senator just kind of tripped, right? And uh, when that happens to you, especially in an important match, like a, like a playoff final, it, it is possible to start playing not optimally quite quickly. And uh, this is something that, I mean, we're playing a best of seven, so he's going to have enough time to recover from this uh, during the course of the match. But, but so strategically, this should he go for this backflip Dragon Ball pop right now if he sees it? If he's well, guaranteed to get it, if he's guaranteed well, he's, to get it, should he do it? Yeah, then I think he should. Yeah. Because, I mean, he, okay, he, has he just seen... collected a, a nuclear test. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah. One of them is Zala's Unfortunately, worms. all of Zala's worms are above that um, threshold. Oh, on the other hand, Zala's top worms are the poisoned ones. And so if Senator can find a nuke test that flops his bottom two worms, he's quite happy. And I think at that yeah. point... Well, he has, it'll take until several turns into sudden death for that. Yeah. Will he survive that long? Uh, I think this this round is going to be very tricky to win, especially because of the way Zala plays. He's he's definitely a momentum based player, and he he tries to go for fancy plays early. I saw that against uh, when he was playing against Chicken as well. Mm. They do both still have rope. Um, yeah. Oh, is that a block? Is he just testing it, or does he? Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't think he fits there. Maybe maybe a sheep does though. That looked like it oh, wasn't a, a block does. to me. It looks like it could get through to me. Yeah. Oh, I guess he must have tested it because he wouldn't have done that. Like, I mean, it's safe to get yourself stuck if you then fire punch. In fact, fire punch is the only way to um, untrap yourself that opens it in both the left and right directions. That, that was an interesting point that you made earlier, though, about whether or not he should tactically go for the plop on Amnesia. Uh, and I think if you can guarantee the, the plop using the Dragon Ball uh, backflip, right? I think in that case, you have to go for it. Because as Sanity, you're so far behind this round that, that uh, Zalo... So we're probably Zalo going to see a Mad Cow win here. Um, I, Ooh, um, Scott Mad Cow. Uh, because he has Scott, Mad Cows? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let me just get them on this turn. Wow. So, are three cows gonna plop him? I think no, maybe no, maybe no, this is going to mm -hmm. be a plop, but it'll be. Oh, no, there's a pixel kill. there now. Oh, is he gonna God. go for the safe retreat? Oh, he's not going no. for the safe retreat. Wow, he survived. Wow. 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 That might be a good form of bait to leave your worm there where the, the worm might just attack it and say where it is because then he has yeah. Yeah. I mean trauma um, has a well okay it's possible that none of his worms could um, yeah, there retaliate are weapons for a kill of there gas are. right away, but I mean, he has pretty good top control, so he would be able to do that before too long. Yeah, but also, but also that's not a guarantee to kill him gas, right? Even it if he depends on. Rose. So, Senator yeah. actually has nothing that can kill gas, but Gonzalo didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. a um, a sheep launcher, for example, could kill him. Pigeon. This was another. This was another one of those situations where he was doing the rope turn with a sick worm. That's also his lowest HP worm. So, so uh, if he if he is going to try and bait, I think that's the perfect worm to bait. With. Yes, exactly. And um, Senator collected a, a napalm strike, but he's uh, so an airstrike. 
is what Kinzo has. Work, he's, Kinzo, actually, he has Earthquake as well. Why doesn't he just use the Earthquake? Ah, that's because he, that's because he's playing psychological games and he's gonna Earthquake eventually. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Oh. <laughs> Come on, poor Santa. He didn't want Gast to die. That's why he didn't do it. Oh, Gast! Oh, yeah. That's sure. hilarious. Gast, Gast stays survive. alive. Yeah. Wow. Oh, was there even a hole there? Maybe there wasn't. Yes, right? there was. There was. Oh wow. Well then, that's just bullshit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a quick BRB because uh, Gonzalo is as well. Wow, I have no words. <laughs> For, so like, <laughs> I am speechless. No, no, absolutely. Um, that's I don't think you're the only a one. Very quick game because usually uh, the games, uh, the rounds last the, like uh, 40 minutes. So after the SD, and he did quick and he did very good. Was I don't know if he was uh, both lucky and strategic. I think that he was very strategic as well because all of those punches made a very good job on that. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, he got some really good pops in there. Yeah, he got the right worm at the right place, at the right moment, the right weapon. Wow, but you have to be able to use the right weapons, the punch, and so very, very well done. I'm speechless. I'm learning so many things. <laughs> during these streams, uh, <laughs> it's beautiful because I I lose every time. <laughs> right, so round two, we're almost ready to begin. So Gonzalo taking yep. the lead with the first game, with his earthquake. I'm there. just looking for a map for the now. <laughs> this should be an interesting one, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. <coughs> ah, hospital. Uh, one of my favorite. It's very creative and good looking texture. It has so many features. Mm, okay, let's take a look to the poems. Yeah, I like this texture mm. as well. It's one of the good, it's one of the ones that work for almost any scheme and very well. Even I something actually, like the rope ring. I actually really like this terrain in B and G for trick B and G more yeah, specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah With it this just in works, the combination really. of girders, ah, oh. in fact, Gregor, me and Thanks you spent for streaming a whole... this guy is less than three. Yeah, yeah. Blackboard Audio, you're welcome. Uh, we love it. We yeah. love this game. Hope you're enjoying the match. So it is best of seven, those who don't know. So, uh, yeah, it's a long road ahead for both players here. Yeah, first of four. Mm. Oh, oh, damn. He get the torch there. Oh, what a jump. A bit. He kind of uh, measured it out to enough to know that he wasn't going to reach. So I don't. I was. I would like to think that was not a surprise that he didn't hit the worm. Yeah, the jump afterwards though could have been better, right? He could have he could have jumped onto the vial onto the vial and uh, yes. picked up the crate and hidden better, right? Exactly. Yeah, it looked like the way he behaved when it stopped was like he was surprised it didn't hit the worm, and that it kind of threw him out off. Well, uh, uh, he was he was very close with the blowtorch, right? So so we don't know that uh, he. Exactly knew that he wouldn't be reaching, right? Because, because you know, the the blowtorch uh, does have slightly more reach than than where it uh, digs to terrain, right? So it, it was closer in in the end. Ooh, I saw cluster bombs for uh, senator. Mm -hmm. No, uh, yeah, Zala senator, so far yeah. doesn't have any. Yeah, that's the that. correct. Senator has clusters. Mm -hmm. And Zala okay. has wind is good now for mm, uh, senator has a skunk. now. Oh, he has a skunk. Uh, Interesting. What's the strategy now? Yeah, I feel like this is the sort of round where a uh, skunk isn't going to be that amazing. But if if you get a skunk on your first turn uh, from your first crate that you pick up, I think you still end up looking for some sort of double skunking. Uh, it's 
not gonna be very easy to find on this map though. Ooh, he uh, doesn't yeah. get the full thing there. Now in order to plop worms now it's a bit complicated because there are two uh, tools down there that block the the plop spot. Basically another and protected now, plop hole like in the previous yeah. map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That is usually what I try to go for on, on when I'm picking maps using the, the shape reset that's uh, that has the, that central plop, plop hole. So at this point, Zalo has sh briefly showed that he has the skunk to Senator. Uh, whether or not Senator saw that, we don't know, though. That's an, one of the things that varies a lot from player to player, how closely they watch their opponent. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. This is another well, skill. No, well, no, 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 no. Skunk comes out now. Uh, he's not going to get a double one. Oh, man. This is fine, though. This yeah, is, he uh, wanted, uh, yeah, maybe to take also the second worm down there with the skunk, but somehow... Yeah, I mean, it could have happened. This, this, this is the sort of thing where y you go for one worm, if you get the other one, you're very, very happy with it. But if you just get the one worm, you're still pretty happy. Yeah, Senator yeah, yeah. just wrote scary. <laughs> because yeah, in the chat, every time it. Gonzalo uh, moves and does something, it's very scary. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this is the difference between Zalo and Senator. Senator favors uh, uh, a defensive play style with, with even early on girders and, and safer plays. Whereas Zalo knows how to play safely as well, and he does, but I feel like he does that more towards the the late game stages of Rennes. And early on, he's more eager to look for, for fancy plays like double skunks and uh, the plops that we saw on the play, uh, during the first round, right? Especially the mind plop was very difficult to pull off, but he got it perfectly. Yeah. And that is that is the that is I think where the advantage for Zalo is. If it can find early plays that that sort of intimidate Senator, that's going to make it much much easier for him to last until the un, until the late game, uh, in the shape where he can still beat a, a, a player like Senator, who is very very capable strategically. Right. So if uh, Zalo had had a really weak worm, it could have been a good wor good idea to get both crates for the teleport. But uh, since all of his worms are close to full health, it was yeah. better to uh, just get one of them and be in a bit of a safer spot. It's still not too yeah. safe. Yeah, I just think that because of the way that first round played out, right, now Zalo is going to be the player with more confidence. First of all, he's ahead. Second of all, he knows that the plays that he goes for are currently at least working. And when you have that feeling, that does give you a, a certain amount of com confidence. And it can it can make it hard to play against you when, when you're just going for things and things are working. And that 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 could maybe confuse Senator somewhat. I, I feel like he's he's also a very mentally strong player, and he's not gonna just succumb to this and not ever even come close to coming back, right? But it is interesting how how many how many different skill sets you have in Team Seventeen because it's weapon knowledge, it, it's uh, like shorter term tactics where you decide what you're going to do on this turn and what you're not going to do and what so you're like maybe going to do. For example, he chose turn. to take his worm that already had mobility and collect those crates, but there was no way that. Uh... Well. There was really no way that Senator could have got those crates on his next turn. So yeah, that's true, Zalo yeah. could have chosen to give his his other worms more mobility and wait to get the other crates. But um, uh -oh. Ooh, there's a banana bomb. Paid up for him. He, he, as you can see, he got a banana. Yeah. So he had the banana, but he didn't get it this turn. And he actually chooses to pile himself very... Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. And now there that is, is a, a flop hole now, uh, which can be. Very I think this is David. David this well. is the sort of play I would have gone for, where Don't I just got the banana bomb, and uh, I can, with some confidence, convince myself that my opponent doesn't also have something hugely explosive that's going to be able to like, punish he my. Could, yeah, that, is, I mean, is that is a juicy pile. That is a very juicy pile. 
it's not Senator's style, but I mean, some yeah. players might just do a rope and hope at this point with such a juicy yeah, pile. Yeah, would. yeah. I don't think so, but there's only two crates. Um... There's only one crate that he could get. So yeah, I mean, it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, on the other hand, think, well, I'm okay. You could think that maybe this is the only way I win this round, right? But right. I don't think at this point that that is the case. Yeah, it's or... not that bad yet. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah. The problem is because of the way the first round happened. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Senator is thinking Zala is so far getting more lucky than I am, right? Even even though maybe that's not not even true. Well, right? not with that crate. I mean, that was a handgun. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> But um, Zalo does have another skunk. Yeah, How many skunks does he have? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's interesting because Zalo, Zalo is again finding himself in the similar situation that he found himself uh, in in the first round, where he can go, he can go, he doesn't even need weapons to go for the turns that he's going for. Right? He's just he's just putting Senator in dangerous wow. positions. That was. I think that he knew that wasn't going to pop. Yeah, um, probably, yeah. Just putting, threatening that worm so that he can't move any other worm. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's the difference between a player like Senator and a player like Zalo. A player like Zalo is going to recognize that I'm getting slightly more lucky so far. I'm, I'm the more aggressive player. I know that Senator likes to play defensively. So if I just keep putting pressure on him and putting his worms in danger and making him umpire his worms and teleport away, then I'm playing. I'm the one dictating how the round is getting played, right? And I think that I think that's one way you can beat Senator. Uh, there's probably others as well, but so the second skunk comes out now, and it works. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's, um, wow. Yeah, that's that a good was... one. I was waiting think... for that. <laughs> yeah. I think in Team 17, you're always happy to, to skunk a worm that's more blocked off and that's less likely to be doing turns. Because the the more threatening worms uh, on your opponent's side, so the ones that have top control are going to be collecting a crate and attack you each turn, those are the worms you're also more likely to attack uh, back in retaliation, right? So so those those are the worms that are going to be the immediate threat. If you're skunking a worm uh, that's not one of those worms, you're happy because that worm is probably not going to have that many amazing turns anyway, and it's just going to be losing HP every turn. By the time, time, by the time that worm would come out to play, it's yeah. in really bad shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And maybe it's going to just die to a single attack then, which is exactly the optimal way of playing Team 17, is use as few attacks on the worm as you can. Ooh, that was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah. That, that could have maybe plopped Panic in, a, in an ideal world. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe not. But maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think Senator just has to. Ooh, so it's again Zala going for the earlier rope. That's interesting. Oh, I think that's this is not a bad rope. Yeah, this is not a bad rope. He's just trying to maintain his advantage. And I think he's going to be going for Miko, right? Because if he has something like a mine, Miko does die to a mine, right? But um, um, yeah, he only got another handgun and he's got the clusters and a mortar. Well, so the actually, cluster could. Maybe kill off Miko, right? Because if you're using the rope to, to intersect well, with the worm, so I mean, yeah, but you'd get a one. really bad hide. You'd have to rope knock Miko to put yeah, the cluster under him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and you can just okay. hide down below there. Oh, oh this maybe you had to spice one. plan all along to use the handgun. Oh, 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 it's amazing. That's bullshit. Senator's going to be pretty upset at this point. I mean, th no. this was this was the fourth the fourth type of luck that you were enumerating before, David. Where fire from that uh, yeah. barrel. Well, fire and animals, animals also animals. Yeah, and right. yeah. yeah, that move randomly. Uh, did that, that is... open up for Ollie? Is there an opening there now where that crate is above the microscope? I think uh, maybe. I want to say maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. What's... So maybe, oh, he's going for the counter rope. This is going to be a pretty sad counter rope. He needs to get something good 
from this one, Craig? Oh, it's actually not open. It's eight pixels wide, and it needs to be nine. Uh, need, it needs to be nine, yeah, to fit a worm. Oh, okay. I'm a little bit worried. Ah! Whoops. For Senator hmm. this round. So I th that was a decent that cheat. That could have been a plot, probably theoretically. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He could have just pitted the worm to the uh, Network left. Draw. Oh, no. Network draw. That's oh, good. Oh no. Uh, so what are we? What are we gonna be doing with this one? And uh, now. Uh, I don't think it, was... it got to a level where it's definitive that one of them is going to yeah. win. Yeah. Oh, dear. It wasn't. Yeah. What about now? Well, the problem now no. is uh, we also can't have Salo rejoining this lobby. I have to click on the new match button, right, David? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how could that network drop be so quick? Hello? Um, Sorry, what was that? We don't know. Oh, wow, he said, like, uh, lag, and then That's network a... drop immediately. Wow. So who started? Right, yeah, so uh, actually it is Senator, one of the moderators for the TRL League, uh, and this would usually come down to his decision, like if he's around, but uh, since he's one of the players, I think it's going to have to be some sort of unanimous decision. Uh, oh, I let's mean, and in this see. kind of situation, um, I usually just discard. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I, th I think they should just replay the round. Because it was it was uh, the player dropping who was ahead, right? And that counts for something as well. Yeah, yeah. If exactly. it were senator dropping, then maybe we would be more eager to discuss the possibility that Zala should be two nil up. Then, but it was the other way around. So. Mm, okay. Well, I wanted to, however, discuss some stuff that happened. Oh yeah, I mean there um I have a plan to implement um well in the probably closer future to implement um rejoining a game while it's still up, but then in the farther future implement continuing a game. But uh, like, even if all the players close their um, worms and Mageddon clients, they could um, start up again from the replay file. But that would require um, a higher level of replay file security than exists currently. Whereas um, rejoining an in-progress game, um, especially if it's just a disconnection at the network level, then everybody's game can just stay up and they um, don't even necessarily have a chance to uh, watch the replay and cheat in that way. It, it's all a matter of um, what cheats such a thing would open up, so that needs to be um, done carefully. But uh, as for reconnecting to an in-progress game, um, the network level that would be pretty safe against cheats. As those who aren't aware, Dead Code here is actually the developer, one of the developers that updates the, the official game. So what he says is entirely accurate. You can you can trust him, he's reliable. We can't trust David, who can we trust? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Accident. Trying to avoid early plops. I think this should be mostly fine. There is a slight possibility that this plop hole is an actual plop hole. I can't find a way to block it off though using objects, so whatever. 
it's just a tiny bluff call anyway. Oh yeah, another feature that I, I want to add, maybe even in the next version, is um, controlling who starts. Of course, it should be obvious that that is going on so that it won't be abused. So, I mean, it right. should be a visually obvious way. It's indicated right there on the uh, host join screen. There could be the possibility to, in this case, in the next uh, update for Worms Armageddon, to restart from the beginning, from the moment where the problem has begun, for example. Zalo now uh, dropped, and is there a possibility to restart the game in the next uh, update where it was interrupted? Um, I don't you, know I, if I mean... I'll put this, this in the next update, but as I said, um, it's not really the way you described it is more of the um, further future option, whereas um, mm -hmm. The first thing that will be implemented is just um, mm -hmm. reconnecting at the network level. I mean, if everybody's game stayed open, if it, they didn't crash, if it, you know, they didn't lose power, then mm -hmm. it could just reconnect. Now, as for actually losing power, that would require a higher level of, of um, continuation, where you'd actually continue from the replay file. Oh, right, yeah, I remember this discussion when we were having it on, on IRC a while back now. Like, what's 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 the way to implement it, right? And maybe it's two different ways. All right, looks like we're ready. Okay, uh, so we'll it's wait. the second one. Yeah, and we need Senator to be starting first. But I mean, oh, okay. as for the, just the network level, it um, we, oh, we can just okay. um, Senator starting. implement Good. a sort of meta protocol, which um, doesn't treat a disconnection as a disconnection. Do you matter. already know what other features may be available for the next update? Do you want to give some previews or it is... Not really. Spoilers. Um, what I've implemented mm -hmm. so far is um, not too big. So oh. I do have plans to implement the bigger stuff. Oh, there's always something interesting cooking in that ghost spot. I know, I know there was something about longbows that you were looking into, right? Yeah, well, I already I already did a uh, longbow fix. Um, oh yeah, it's in your internal in builds, right? Of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I want to have the the worm pop in the uh, worm Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna look different though. Well, because not because. Uh, well, it was an actual a huge... early rope again. Ah. Whoa! Oh, yeah. This is a really early rope. And um, I, think, I, I mean, think, I think he, he could get a plop on Ollie. So that is kind of ah. bait. I mean, that, that is. Um, I think this wow. is going to work, though. The that was a actual teleport. Work. He chose to go there, and that's going to work. Yeah. 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 Wow. It wasn't 100% guaranteed to work, though. But, they, um, they I mean, Senator may have there. actually been consciously choosing to bait yeah, Gonzalo maybe, into yeah. using his rope early. Yeah, yeah. This is the sort of play I used to go for a lot. I try to go for it less these days, but uh, quite often when I see a good hide, especially a good top hide, where I'm going to be able to get a lot of crates, right? I, I just say to myself, I'm going to teleport to this crate. I get the top hide. If my opponent uses their rope to go for it, uh, that just means that I'm going to have to play the rest of the round differently, right? And I'm going to yeah. have to play in a way where my advantage of still having the rope is going to... Is gonna give me so much of an advantage that it's going to overcome even a fully healthy worm, right? And I mean, yeah. it can, right? The problem now is Senator, the only weapon he has is this handgun that he keeps showing uh -huh. us, so this is still <laughs> early days, early days. Well, uh, um, Blitzed um, does that a lot, of um, teleporting yeah, into a does. position like where I could rope and, and pop him. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think that's just another interesting decisions that you have decision that you have to uh, like come with a come up with a solution for, uh, and, and that can also depend, right? Even though even though this is the sort of thing that happens early on, on the first or on the second turn, maybe the third turn, it still depends on the map. It depends on the opponent you're playing against. Like it depends on how you're feeling on the day. Am I feeling lucky? Am I going to be getting? 
enough good cries I'm gonna be able to close this round early on and then Senator's advantage of mm, still having the rope is not gonna be okay. relevant. Got a good pitting there out. and and by the way Senator has a uh, flamethrower. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, I think what Senator needs to be doing uh, in this match, it's still like this is round two because we're replaying the round that was just played, right? Uh, he still has time, and he can still he can still tune him tune his play style for this particular opponent and for this situation. Uh, the problem is matches like this, especially when they're important matches, they, they can they can kind of slip away from you. So I think I think he needs to he needs to take control of this match and start playing it more his way and not letting Zala play it his way as much. So, and, so this is an interesting teleport More now. control of the top right yeah. side of the yeah. map. Uh, but um, yeah. Zalo does have Trauma up there who could yeah, trauma plop with the Saku win. right yeah, now. He yeah. could just win, parachute over there and plop Saku. I think he's going to go for it. Yeah. yeah, I think he's going for it. Yeah. yeah, he got the wind immediately. Like in the previous round already, Senator was complaining about wind, the wind going against him. And uh, here it sort of happened again, right? Because Zala was not guaranteed to get full red wind and, and an easy parachute over. He can even go for the crate first. Yeah, and yeah he can get the crate Saku. first. Uh, I think he's not going to. Yes. Oh to my God! Is he gonna? He paused there for a moment, and that might. Yeah, I think he's gonna. Uh, brand new bag. Huh? Oh, he's just so gonna use the dynamite now. He doesn't have time to do the uh, to set himself oh, up. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, is this a good draw? Uh, come on. Let's see. Wow. Nope. Kinda isn't. No, but. Uh, uh, but it might be enough. I don't, yeah, he didn't get enough fall damage there, so it, yeah. Yeah, he should have, he should have just made sure and dropped the dynamite on the left side of the worm's head and was getting. Yeah, I don't know why he line. put it yeah, so close to the center. I, that, that was, I, th I think um, maybe he was just upset that he waited too long, that he paused there and uh, he realized that uh, he was running out of time to do the Dragon Ball plop. Right. Because you would have that would have been much better, right? You still have the dynamite right? and you have yes. a decent amounts of top control. Now, for example, a worm like Miko is in trouble because he could die the dynamite. Now Zalo only has one um, thing now, it's um, worm select. Oh, no, not again. Thing. Not over there. Well, that's kind of funny though. That is that is I'm kind sorry. of funny. Okay. This is specifically right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually yeah that that bait makes more sense because it's only two HP. And Zalo, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, Senator, yeah. if he's if Senator's been keeping track, he knows that Zalo only has one crate's worth of things now. Yeah, I think he probably knows that Zalo doesn't have that many that many weapons, right? He can't know. Hey, that Holo, like that. how are we doing, buddy? Holo says not to debate the commentators, but the the Dragon Ball plop looked kind of close. Oh, I and think it was it definitely was possible. Was, yeah, no question yeah, yeah. about it. <laughs> I mean, this is the sort of this is the sort of play that that goes specifically likes to go from. He's always on the lookout for it. So I, I'm tempted to trust him in this. But it did look good to me as well, for the record. Yeah, so uh, this is this is the sort of thing that I've noticed when watching Zalo play. Is uh, he does quite often he he goes for very he can go for very aggressive early plays like the early ropes mm -hmm. that we've seen in all of the rounds so far. But he he's also very quick to transition to a more defensive play style when he thinks that he needs to, right? Because for example, this round he knows that uh, he. He hasn't been getting many crates. The crates he's been getting, he's not been using optimally. So it's likely that because he's far enough ahead, even even if he gets to the very late game here uh, with with pretty bad weapons, that that still makes him favorite to win this round, just because he has so much worm and health advantage. And if you can if you can at this point just completely shut Senator off and start blocking him every turn and get at least a sudden that that way. Uh, I think that may be the optimal response here. And that, that's also the sort of thing that Senator specifically himself would be would be looking for and going for. Ooh, this is going to be doable. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Good. Good parachute. Interesting that the parachute was easier to pull off from 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 the lower vantage point, right? And not from slightly farther away. Yeah, so at this point, Zalo is 
choosing not to play around Donkey. Uh, Donkey is exactly the thing that Senator wants to get, though. So uh, if, if, if this were me playing as Zalo, I, I would probably just be piling Miko. So I just um, did the Dragon Ball plop. It's ah, possible. there you go. That was Hollow asking in the chat, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Hollow. Yeah, and so uh, elaborating on my point from before is that Zalo so far has been the one to, to play more to his style of, of game, which is aggressive early games and then a transition mm -hmm. into a safer uh, late game. Senator nice really body block there. Um, yeah, I like the Senator spot. is um has um really good promissory. He's got a lot lower health but he has so many weapons now. Yeah. He's got yeah, he's um, dynamite, well, flamethrower, yeah. grenades, um handgun and mortar. And Zala only yeah, has um <laughs> pigeon um, Uzi and uh, Worm Select. Now the Worm he just Select got the pigeon. A, mm. Yeah, um, he just got a handgun. I mean, sorry, he just got an Uzi actually. But um, oh, I see. Yeah, so I think uh, I like Senator's teleport and body block on the previous turn because uh, it wasn't that likely that Zala would be unblocking his trauma worm, uh, and. Because uh, Senator knows he has the dynamite, there, there's a decent setup there for the dynamite onto at least one of those mines, right? Or maybe into a pile. So that is that is one potential bigger turn that could uh, swing this round around a little bit. Not all Senator way, could use the flamethrower right now on Ghast, and he could even get that body oh, block yeah, again yeah, in retreat yeah. if he's quick enough. Oh, well, not... the, the, the body block is hard. The body block, the body block is hard. be pretty hard, yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe he goes for the dynamite first, but then he's in danger of uh, Ghast moving. The thing is, though, if he's dropping a dynamite on Trauma here, uh, Zala is quite likely to have to move either Amnesia or Trauma. So I think I like going for the dynamite first here and then saving the then saving the plane throw for Ghast. Instead, he's going for something completely different. Run away. Well, he wanted to keep that body block, and he's, he pits yeah, gas, and so that's pretty pitting. good, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, this is good as well. This yeah. is good as well. I think he does need to soon now transition into actually dealing damage, not even just because it's tactically good. He, he needs to basically warm up for, for doing attacks with actual weapons, not just playing speed. Oh, oh, very interesting. This, this was a spicy play. I'm not sure it was that mm. good, though. Nice still, like some, some, something like a banana bomb here just wins Senator the round. I wouldn't be playing this aggressively as Zalo, because we saw that he already decided to start slowing the round down, so I'm not sure why he rushed that turn so much now. Uh, he's got his reasons. I do though, really, sure. I do really, really like seeing that aggressive style of play myself yeah. from players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zalo is actually one of the the more mechanically solid it. players. Right? Yeah, could be could because he is mechanically so capable. He can afford to go for this play style and make it work. And whereas for some other player, like for example, Senator, who is just all the way focused on strategy, usually when playing Team Seventeen, right? Uh, Maybe this sort of place out oh, of the no. Nice. That was nice. Yeah, was Shame was couldn't good. get the double mine, but still nice. Yeah. That other mine just went flying into into a pit somewhere. And it's probably not gonna get anything done this round anymore now. Okay, no wind now for Zalo. And um, but he has two crates. Let's see what what we'd get in these crates. Oh, yes, this uh, is this is he wants Zalo. to use the bungee to not... Um, yeah, yeah, Zalo wow. is very good at changed, Wow. He, Zalo changed his name to Zoro X, and now it's Gonzalo, and he's Mexican now as well. So, arriba! <laughs> andre, andre! Uh, next game will be... The next nickname would be Chuck Norris, like, because... It's, you know, <laughs> Chuck Norris! <laughs> <laughs> Not Chuck Norris, <laughs> Chuck Norris. <laughs> Arriba! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how yeah, does this okay. make him better By the way, Explain. that feature for me would, uh, is a waste of 
pigeon yeah for me uh, I wouldn't have used that instead I would have waited for something less damaging yeah Maybe. so Hall of this me, uh, is actually as well it but might maybe. have been a good choice, nevertheless. Because uh, that worm did have a lot of top control. Yeah, also, this round was, like, technically it was oh. very obvious and clear and straightforward. What was that, Craig? Banana. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, of course, a banana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no yeah, I mean, I, I know Ichiko has been, has been has been looking into who's gonna get luckier uh, uh, in this final, and so far she's right. Ah. That okay. survived. Uh, yeah, he survived because the launching technique was it did yeah, um, good, but not hit enough. that worm though. It yeah, I mean that that sort could of. have that could have worked well enough with that sort of uh, drop. Uh, I mean, throw by the of the banana bomb, but uh, just the RNG wasn't there. Ooh, he can get up yeah. there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the jumping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There, there's just one column of, of black pixels there that you probably can't see on stream, but it's there. Uh, this is now interesting. I think at this point, the way Senator wins this round, the way Senator wins this round is just maintaining top control. Hope for no no big air strikes, because I'm not I'm not sure what what else he can do this round. There's just so much HP to mm, to oh, chew. Okay. To. He's going for the cows. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was oh very nice. nice. That was perfect. Yeah, what I mean, that, that was oh, that was one of those okay. attacks, but you don't know in the past this is going to work out that perfectly. But it was just nice. perfect. Yeah, this was like uh, a warning to Zalo. Hey, pay attention because I can be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I think, so sen I think Senator... So <laughs> oh, super, super. Oh, you bet. Trump, there is a, a reason the Grand army Final. Shows it. Senator was watching closely. Yeah. You see that... Uh, Salvation Army. Oh, yeah, no, he he's just showing it off now. Yeah. Uh, can you get all the way up? Can you get uh, all the way up? Oh, yes, wow, that was very nice. Yeah, keep, good job. Keep forward, in mind, though. keep in mind, for those who may not be aware, Gonzalo isn't known for being a classic scheme player, as in the the more mainstream stuff. However, he has been one of the best free league players there ever has been uh, schemes such as parachute race, battle race, which are very important skills for this scheme, yeah. mechanically speaking. So that's why he, another reason why he's so good at this scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 again bring that again brings me back to the point that I was making before, which is if you have the technical skills and and the knowledge of weapons to support an aggressive playstyle it's much easier to go for it and zalo has been making good use of that right he's in in most of his matches except apparently against that code where he played quite defensively in most of his other matches the way he won was surprise opponents with early aggression and he's doing that very well the problem now is if senator uh can maintain his composure and, and come up and come out on top in this round, and then it's one one. I, I think Salo at that point is gonna is gonna have a difficult time regaining that surprise factor, right? And and so, getting the bigger crates and going for the for the riskier attacks and getting them right. Uh, and I think at the, at that point it's gonna become more scary for Zalo than it's gonna be for Senator. Yes. Whereas now it is currently the opposite. So in the chat, we've got Daniel Cherez. Can I assume that that's Danny, the the partner in crime for Zalo? Yeah. Like, so yeah. Earlier on in the stream, I did actually men hey, mention buddy. about <clears throat> Mo Shopper that a lot of me and me and Cardi actually had a discussion earlier about comparing Team Seventeen and Mo Shopper. It has a lot of similarities yeah. with the 
Well, we, we've already talked about that. But yes, it is. A lot of his skill comes from Mole Shopper, uh, which is he's really good at adapting to situations because he's good at collecting crates and knowing about probabilities and being aware of bet positioning and stuff like that. So yes, Mole, Mole Shopper, although I will agree, I jumped on the, the bandwagon some years ago and made a little bit of fun of it. I did actually put the effort into watching the people play and Zalo and Magnus are just those guys are insane and I actually believe those guys have the the passion and the creativity to compete with even who is considered the greatest strategic players of all time like like Dario and Almog and Mablack and Random and all those guys. I definitely think Zalo is on that level. Yeah, I, I do. I do think. I do oh, think so at this that. point, this is a spicy opinion to have. But then, I, I, I do also uh, see where you're coming from. Yeah, I think it's too early to put him in that category for now. But like, maybe if he wins the playoffs here, right, and maybe if he wins them four zero, then then that conversation like changes a little bit. It's more not speaking about achievements. I'm talking about the passion and creativity, which yeah, yeah, yeah. is yeah, equal yeah. to those those guys. The whole point is, yeah. would he even what like Mablack was very curious about so many different parts of the game, so he's known for that. Zalo, on the other hand, he kind of stayed away from the mainstream community. He's got his own yeah. reasons for that, obviously. But now, yeah, he now he's taking part in, in more of those schemes. Right? And he's really good yeah, at them. Everyone, everyone on Wernet finds their own ways of, of having fun and entertaining themselves with the game. And everyone's way is going to be slightly different. Uh, Senator only has that one cow left, right? Doesn't he? Correct. All right. Uh, he's going for it now. Oh, he fell down there. Ooh. Okay. Well, I, I think that's going to be a block hole. That's in two turns. That's going to be a block hole no, 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 in no. one turn. Uh, this, yeah. Yeah, yes, it's already a pop uh, yeah, as you yeah. can see. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, mm -hmm. how many there's a long bow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this that is going to cost. a bad idea to get in that crate. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Unlucky, <laughs> Senator. I, I don't. <laughs> okay. Because here comes yeah, Robin Hood the way, riding the way through the glen. <laughs> I think the way Senator needed to do that was not even go to the left of that pipe object with the drill hole. He needed to drop the cow facing right, right but from the right, right side, and then the exactly. cow does the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is just another one of those mechanical skills that not only do you have to know how to do it, you also have to think of it on the spot, and he just didn't in that situation. And maybe that has to do with the with the aggression that he's seen coming from Zala, right? Because you don't with a player like Zala, you don't know is he gonna play very aggressively again, or is he gonna mm, is he gonna go for a slower approach, right? And it does surprise you to a degree to see him go for either one or the other. Now, That's interesting. Uh, a senator is blocked. No. Yeah, this is the only worm now. And, and yeah. the only strike he has is uh, one airstrike. Yeah, uh, it's probably be not so useful against three worms. He has to do a very wise decision now to I think Goss be himself. Right. Goss yeah, do something. Do something. It's always going okay, to do a turn Goss, advantage yeah. play here. But, but I don't uh, think he doesn't that... know that Gonzalo has a se select, so he's going to die right now. <laughs> oh, uh, that yeah, is that's nasty. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. I remember that he had select worm. Let's do the same. No, okay. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. Good job. Bye -bye. Here we go down. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the way Zalo is playing. This is this is the way I want to be playing against Senator always. Just okay. sometimes. Uh, I don't get the great street threat. Then I then I lose. Norris wins again. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it was it was. Convenient though that Zal in all in all three situations that round had exactly a thing that he needed. Right, he had the worm select into a big explosive weapon. He had the longbow for that plop as well. Uh, there was one other thing early on as well. 
All right, so we stand at 2-0 for Zala right now. I'm gonna get them a new map. It's gonna be a slightly different one this time. Uh, and it's Zalo starting first this next turn. Yes. Uh, just to let you guys know when this next round begins, I will be AFK for five, 10 minutes. So if anything does go wrong, I will be back. Don't worry. Mm. Yeah, I think this map is going to be interesting enough, even though the top uh, is all the way connected. Well, almost all the way. Right then, looks like we're ready to begin the next round. Let's go. Good luck. Mm -hmm. No, uh, what's happened? Danny left. Danny. Oh, Danny left. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, what a oh, nice God. map. This is... More like a cavern map. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was sort of the idea. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the idea was for, for the first two rounds, I gave them slightly more open maps. And now, now that the first two rounds are uh, finished, right, we're going slightly more dark side. And like, you know, one could make the argument right, that I'll the more back. open maps favored a more aggressive play style. But I, I mean, I, I don't put too much stock in that, honestly. So, uh, if that theory holds correct, then maybe Senator has a, a, a slight, slight map advantage now. This is a particular but, um, terrain, by the way, um, because the I don't know why is... he's, he was mm. going for that, because uh, it was... Yeah, that punch was never going to work. Like, e even if he grabs the crate, like, what's he going to do with that? Right. Yeah, this is, this is the sort of map where the top is so well connected, even though maybe getting from the right all the way to the left is not possible without wind. Uh, this is the sort of map where, where gaining top control and holding onto it can be very important. Uh, sort of like a not... sawtooth in that you, like you, can, you can go all the way to the right without wind, but uh, yeah, yeah, wind yeah. to go to the left. <laughs> yeah. Time for nice, nice one. Okay, so they're um, almost... Minigun. Yeah. Ooh, minigun's good. I think so far we can we can say that Zalo has been the one uh, getting better crates. Uh, is um, that because he was collecting more crates, though, is the question. Maybe. Maybe. Well, not really, um, especially not in the previous game. Yeah, not, but, not Zalo in has a dynamite oh. now, which um, has immediate uses um, for plopping. Uh, so he probably well, there, is going to plop there, Mike an, Miko, right? He, he could also plop Saku. If he drops the dynamite to the left of Saku, the barrel explodes and Saku drowns in the explosion hole. But I think uh, uh, it is... Not guaranteed is, completely. Um. Yeah, it is better probably to plop Miko, though, just because that's Senator's top form. The problem is he now has a pile to deal with, and he has to do something about this pile. And maybe even on his next turn, he has to move trauma as well, uh, away as well. Because at some point, Senator's going to pick something up that plops trauma. But... Um... Was it a good decision for him not to take the, the, the Miko pop right away? I mean, true that he doesn't get a good hide from it, but still, um, there's no yeah. Senator Worms that could have retaliated immediately anyway. So, uh, I mean, it, yeah, it is uh, true that it opens up to Sako possibly. No, it might not, it might not even open to Sako. Yeah, probably not. Then, actually. Yeah. So why didn't he do it? Well, he didn't do it because I think he wants to. He wants to now start playing slightly less aggressively than he has been, and the way he does that is more safely play around Senator getting just the weapons that he needs. And in that situation, it would be something like Senator getting a dynamite of his own, right? And if he leaves that worm next to Trauma, maybe there's just a double kill there. And uh, I, I think it's risky to do it one way or the other, right? But uh, it's just personal preference to that point. It comes down to how you want the round to play out. And I think I think it's making maybe the conscious the conscious decision to to start the, the aggressiveness earlier. worked for him all before so why, why change? Well, yeah, that, that's the trap, right? Because if you if you see one approach work, you, you're more tempted to go for that one. But but a very experienced player is going to say Maybe I have been getting a little lucky with the weapons I've been getting, right? And and maybe this is 
at this point not going to continue. Ah, and, uh, look, look, now yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Zalo yeah. wants to dynamite Oli and I mean, to, reach, to make Oli reach the, the mine. Over. Yeah, maybe. yeah, let's, no, uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think, I it think was that made... it was a big mistake for Zalo not to do that top dynamite, and I think Sinodar actually has a chance of winning now as a result. Well, he always had a chance of winning. Right? This round is still young. But uh, I think I agree with you. I think I think because Senator didn't have any other top worms, getting rid of that Miko top worm uh, on a map like this was specifically good. Yeah, I agree with that. Also, the problem now is... Senator doesn't even need great weapons this round to put Salo's worms in danger, because even something like a fire punch on Panic to the right would put him in danger, right? And and something like a Dragon Ball here on Trauma maybe puts him in danger as well. Senator is instead electing to go for a block. I'm not oh, surprised. Senator doing a double block here, a body block on below and mm -hmm. a burger block above. Yes, sir. Is this for sure a body block? I guess it is, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, now maybe some action can happen with Miko because he selected his worm near him. And maybe he's trying oh, to get some just... crates. No, Zala ah, only has a handgun at this point, so he wants better crates now. He has a handgun, yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think at this point, especially on the map, problem. it's... Yeah, I think especially a more complex map like this one uh, it does inform you that the round is going to be going late, right? And that means that you can probably be more confident about just uh, collecting crates and, and finding ways of dealing with, with your enemy enemy's worms uh, effectively and more efficiently, right? And the way, the way you do that is you just get your hands on a lot of different weapons. Then Zalo has, has collected a sheep launcher. Um, I see, uh, oh, I see the minigun ball. is not going to work. Oh, okay. Uh, kind of lucky there, nice I would say. Work, actually. I think, I mean, on a smooth slope like that, the minigun could have failed, but he... Uh, yes, hmm. yeah, I think there is a way where if you aim the minigun low enough, uh, you can't get the worm to get stuck inside the hole that you're digging with the minigun Yeah, bullets. but was it completely reliable for that to happen? That's the question. Yeah, right. probably not, right? I, I have been doing them that way myself, and they, for the most part, they just end up working fine. I've had some oh. fail like that. Yeah, this is only going to be like 60 damage. I got you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, you guessed it perfectly. That's because I've been playing the game for 22 years, or maybe more. Oops. And now the war is a bit panic and Miko, basically. Yeah, yeah, he can get the kill let's, right now. Let's, see, let's see if Senator can get 61. Yeah, he can. This is like 67, 68. Nice. Yeah. Ah, 66. Okay. I suck. Mm, that was nice. <laughs> Finally, I think that was Senator that was won against Zalo, at least this battle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that, that was definitely the play to go for. Oh, is he getting the crate? No. 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 Uh, I, be I bet that was possible, though. Yeah, if he jumped... Yeah, he hoped for jump. that, but he failed. That's funny, though. I'm just reading the Twitch chat, and there's exactly Whoa. Fox, Senator's <laughs> friend in the Twitch chat, and I know that he specifically hates this sort of Team 17 map where the entire top is connected. But, uh, I mean, because we had two more open maps, I, I felt more comfortable giving them one that's like this, just, just for variety's sake. Don't very hate sheep, Fox. Uh, very sheep <laughs> launcher heavy. Uh, we have a, another sheep Ooh, launcher collected by <laughs> Senator. Yeah, so Senator has had two, and Zalo has had one. And so far, Senator has been using them more efficiently. Ooh, what's he going for? Ah, uh, just to teleport. Oh, no! <sighs> wow, oh, that was a good teleport. Um, yeah, Zalo doesn't have any control of that portion of the map, and he got an Aqua Sheep as well. He teleport. will use... What? Uh, a bro oh, no, 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 he doesn't need that because he well, yeah, he, okay. can go for... Can get the, uh... Yeah, now he's doing Rambo style to go to 
Oh, yeah, but be. is this paid, right? Because this could also be paid by Senator. Where he's maybe, he sees that Valor is trying to play this round a little more slowly, and now instead he's giving him opportunity to revert back to his more aggressive well, play style, I mean, which means... It couldn't have pure been well-planned bait, because he didn't know he would get an auction. Yeah, no. Now that he has right, one... Against time. Seven, six, five, four. Okay, he did it. <laughs> no wonder. No, does he drop down? Does he drop down here okay. to, to take on the, the crate? On the cr no. no, he wouldn't even get the crate from that distance. Yeah, he wouldn't. Be Unless there's a forward jump there that lands him on the football, and then he'd drop down to the oh. crate. That's okay, what now Miko can, uh, can get the crate to hope for a good weapon. And uh, is that a block? Hit is Gas blocking yes. the passage down to the crates? I don't think he no, is. No, no, no. No, no. Right, I'm back. Oh, he, he's showing the aqua sheet. Hello? What have I missed? What's, what's happened? Quick update, no, please. Blocked. Set rip. Uh, yeah, it's um, blocked, no? It's not blocked. No, I was just no, thinking no, no. about okay. it. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about dropping down. He could also he drop only... down and not go for the crate. Come on up. So he goes for the bungee. Uh, he could go for the aqua sheet from down here and get the blob this way. Oh, you're right. No, yeah, he, he could decided have. to not risk anything. And I, I, think, I think the way the way you do that is you just uh, fly the aqua sheep straight up and double tap. Double press, and double, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. That's how I would have done it. The problem with that is he, he's just hitting himself. He's not contest, contesting the top as well as he was before that. If he wasn't going for the Aqua Sheep, though, then probably he shouldn't be showing it to Zalo as much as he has been. No, the is blocked. Uh, okay. I think Zalo only needs to see it once. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think this is a very interesting uh, final matchup, though, that we're having, because because they're both capable of playing very defensively. But but I, I would only uh, I would only ascribe the more aggressive playstyle to Zalo and never to Senator, right? But maybe the way Senator wins this final and turns it around, because he's two 0 down now, uh, is to just try and go for more than he usually goes for. So the predictions are up. You've only got about 40 seconds left, though, because it was a little bit oh, later. Interesting. Junior late game predictions. This <laughs> round is still anyone's stuff. I think I think Senator is going to benefit from having top control more now, though, and and that's going to give him a lot of traits. And on a map like this, where yeah. you're going to have you're going to have access to most of it, especially once sudden that comes. Uh, and especially when some explosions yeah, happen uh, at the top as well. Uh, I, I think I think I'm favoring Senator for this round for now. For now, even though HP wise, the back goes. I'm not sure why he keeps teleporting there. Though. That can't be the best hide. Maybe though. Maybe it is. Well, now he has a view of a super weapon crate up there. <laughs> <laughs> you read in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Uh, let me see. No. Mm, no, 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 KRD, no. KRD is, is Korean one. Red Dragon. Uh -huh. Dragon. <laughs> That's funny. I, I do, I do hey, sometimes on the Wormnet where I'm idling with my KRD nickname on Wormnet. I do sometimes get private messages intended for credit. Hello? So yeah. in, in case anyone's watching who does that, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> who is a bloody vampire? That is guy? Rafal. So, oh, Rafal. Rafal, Rafal is a little bit of a character in the Worms Armageddon community. What happens if you have the fortune of crossing paths with this gentleman in life? You'll suddenly see random amounts of teams appear swiftly yeah. and with remorse. <laughs> when you're trying to host the game, and then, and then you're gonna, and then, and then Rafal is gonna. Uh, <laughs> Make it make it look like he's gonna play around with you, and then he's gonna take a bad first turn and just quit. The I mean, game. I know I know a lot of people get annoyed with that, but and I have too sometimes. But it's pretty funny. It's like a character, a part of Worms yeah. Armageddon. That that is history. Like it, it is quite fun. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, something that's been happening throughout the history of Worms. That is some some oh, people just also, play a character. Rafael, 
uh, don't, yes. Rafal, don't take this as <laughs> me trying to encourage you to keep doing it. <laughs> so have some. That is major. <laughs> have some compassion for your your friends around here. Mito, do you remember when I told you that I have talked with a tainer with a microphone? And we had a call on Discord while playing Chaos. Well, I had a conversation even with the Rafal too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a bit of a magnet for the spicy characters of Vermin, <laughs> aren't you? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about I have a magnet. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 that's, that's, that's got to be as well, so... The, the oh, funny thing is... Just, yeah, we just, we just saw is... a rope come out. The the funny I think thing he's going to go there. for the aqua sheep now. I think he goes for the aqua sheep, because this aqua sheep is also going to open up a measure if he gets it right. And it gets it, it in right. In fact, he had two aqua sheep, so... Nice. Uh, uh, two? Okay. Oh, oh yeah! Very, oh. very nice! Oh my god! That, oh my god! <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, sorry, yes, the and yeah. the plop! That's just oh, insane! Sorry. Usually I don't tell that, but it was so beautiful that I had to tell that. That <laughs> just <laughs> sets that in stone for me what I said earlier about Zalo being a top player. That confirms it for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> his performance today so far is what I want to see more of in this community. It's great. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I, th I think we do have some players like this uh, out there who aren't known already in the community, at least not as well known as they should be. And Zalo is, you're right, one of them. Yeah. I actually really want... I, I hope they do, like... I, I heard last year they had, like, a World Cup mole shopper thing. Hopefully the next time they do that, we can get that yeah. streamed. <laughs> because if, if, if it's seeing skills like this, like what we see from Zalo and Magnus... I want to see that, and I want others to see that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's that's the thing, though, about the Moon Shopper scheme for me. I, I think I think Team Seventeen just just has more variety, right? And because oh, yeah. it has more variety, as a scheme like this, where where the whole point of it is you being good at all of the weapons, right? I, I think it's almost weird to prefer mo to playing Moon Shopper to Team Seventeen. They're, in, they're in, very, in diff they're very different. They're very different. They're very different, yeah, but they are both. Way. They've both got limitless variety. If you think about it. Well, the thing is, you just have more weapons in Team Seventeen. Tanner is a gay. Well, I Cause... feel that the variety in Team Seventeen feels more like variety, whereas in Moon Shopper, right. I mean, it you can feels technically more have. Right? Pardon me. I want to say that uh, Moon Shopper feels a little more rehearsed in that in that you find patterns that work and you try and replicate those patterns in your future matches. Whereas trying to do that in D17 uh, is n not that sensible because there's just too much that you have to keep in mind at all times. Uh, on the other hand, it's been a long time since I've played Moon Shopper with any sort of uh, consistency in that so. Uh, I could be wrong as well. Uh, okay, now Zalo is going for the for the crate. By the way, this is a better um, uh, match for Senator because Zalo giving... uses Patsy now. He has um. Ah. Does he go for it? He wow, also has really? petrol bomb, but uh, yeah, he's gonna go for it. That, theoretically, this oh. could be a pop. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, no, 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 no. It, yeah, the, the, the hole like, was like too... Theoretically. But it would have yeah. been very hard to get. Yeah. And you would have to sacrifice some damage. So what's the weapon situation now? Because situation now? I feel like they've both been you, picking up a lot of crates. And they're getting better crates than they have been in previous rounds, uh, for the most part. Uh, is there anything good that Senator has for oh, that this is crazy. Games? Senator also has a Patsy. <laughs> and so um, pigeon, right. sheep launcher, homing missile, bazooka, clusters, longbow, and his aqua sheep. Gonzalo only has a handgun, aqua sheep, and petrol bombs. So they've now, both gotten two aqua sheeps. But now no one has used the, the um, rope. I think. I think Zalo has, right? Zalo has used his. So Senator has the rope advantage at this point. 
When did yeah, this so yes, I don't remember. Now, why do you think Senator made himself vulnerable to minigun there uh, when he could have stood on top of the uh, taller point of land? Yes, mm, I, I think maybe this is maybe marginally better against baseball bats, right? Okay. And if he's getting minigunned, uh, it's going to be in a few turns where he's going to be low HP anyway, and then minigun okay. is not even going to be that good. Right? This jump is very hard because uh, there are no pixels to... Uh, okay, oh, no. Okay, better to shut up. Because <laughs> he find a pixel where there isn't. All right. I have no well, the is, uh, Good <laughs> job. <laughs> He still, he still needed to spot that, right, and know that the worm fits there, and then do the jump that gets him up there. Okay, thank you, Danny. He used the rope, okay. Oh, so this is okay, a hard question. second one. It was going oh, for not... maybe all three crates. Yeah, this is oh, a no. most great collection. Yeah, Zalo, um, isn't... Okay, he... Wow, well, uh, the attention is going to be hard now. Oh, 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 oh
Senator could go for one kill on one worm. The problem is, if he kills one of the top worms, the other of the other top worm gets the next turn. Yeah. Okay. So many sheeps. He could maybe he could maybe try and look for some sort of magical uh, carpet bomb that kills yeah. both worms. So you could try and TA that oh, one, David. Well. I mean, carpet bomb can deal like four hundred damage. So. Team 17, I want to call this Farm 17 because there's been so many animals today. Of course, Senator doesn't know what um, Gonzalo had, but um, given what he had, I think that the carpet bomb kill on Amnesio would have been would have worked well for him because Zalo only has um, shotgun and minigun, handgun and um, petrol bomb, so he didn't really have a way to kill Senator's worm when it was blocked off like that. Or even he could have used the touch. bungee here to get that crate and still get but yeah, maybe, no, maybe already that's has an, an idea. iffy bungee. It's probably a bungee denied oh, yeah. moment. Oh yeah, it might not even be a bungee. So instead, he's just focusing on getting some damage oh, in yeah. the area. I don't think there's a flop does, here, but maybe. Does the he could, he could shoot the, the mine distance. after shooting. He could shoot Valtteri to the right and then shoot the mine down. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I like the. I think he got kind of lucky there. Uh, that mine could have could have uh, gone to a place. Yeah. Where, uh, and he oh. uh, oops! Well, he needs to go for the body block now if he can find it. Maybe it's no. not there though. Does wow. does well, that's the crate instant pop? He's, um... Does the crate stop the bungee? Like, does that act as ground? No, 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 no. Uh. But I, it's I still, what, it, it used to be a bug. That used to be a bug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I fixed it really early on. Yeah, so the distance means the bungee just wouldn't have opened or activated. Yeah, you know? and you'd fall. Right. You could even fall and lose your turn. I think I think Salo. Oh, he's going to use his own mine against, against him. Why not just do the Dragon Ball to the left, though? Yeah, well, cool. he, yeah, he doesn't one hundred percent trust that one. I think he needs to be aiming higher here, though. Yeah, or do the blowtorch because uh, the water is gonna the water is gonna plop this worm anyway once it in like two turns. So he just needs to get him down there. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, for the record, the dragon ball would be a plop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh yeah. Yeah, may maybe the dragon ball is preferable because you're at least not making the hole there. But I don't think yeah, that's yeah. Which he could then get an aqua sheep through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we like to. Oh, I saw mad cows. I saw mad cows picked up. Sometimes we like to stay behind after the game to analyze replays with tool assist and oh, see what we could have done. But banana bomb. With Zalo, Zalo's going to, Zalo's <laughs> we don't really need it. Zalo's going to try and get the win using the cows here. Oh, he can also going use the banana that? bomb. Oh, he's got a banana. Uh, I don't think banana's good yet, though. So he's going to try and set it up. The problem now is we know Senator has his uh, carpet bomb. And that carpet bomb could even kill this worm and uh, open one. Yeah. Yeah, right. Senator that's a, that's a good yeah, I, I didn't see a way Mad Cows could have uh, worked there either. It will survive two well, turns. He only needed the one right. He could he could do the whole bungee from the left edge what? again, get down there. Oh, you mean go all the way to the left and then yeah, go bungee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If he he, he, if had he hadn't paused there, yeah, yeah, because he did it on the previous turn already, and he had even better win this turn, so he could have gone for it. The problem now is, does Senator actually decide to go for the carpet bomb now, or does he just teleport up and then deal with the bonus individually? Oh uh, wow, he goes for neither. I don't like this. I don't no, like this. I think no, he's no, playing no. too slowly now. Yeah. I think he's playing way too slowly now. Because he had, after the failed shotgun turn, where Zalo <laughs> wanted to get him onto the mine, but failed, I think that was his opportunity. And he needed to switch into a higher gear. All, all Zalo needs to do now is teleport to the top, and then Senator kills well, either one of those. He can just go down and kill him on the next turn. If he gets win, win. if he doesn't, he can protect, protect himself with a girder. I think what well, Senator was waiting for was just lower HP on Amnesia before he does the carpet ball. He could also go for the Aqua Ship first, right? Because he still yeah. has the Aqua. I was thinking so the same. 
It's an iffy aqua sheep, though. Um, the way he has, where he has to stand to make sure the aqua yeah, sheep can get out. He he basically needs to um, needs Zala not to get wind then, right? And if Zala doesn't get get wind, then I mean, really, he not. should use the carpet bomb first and aqua sheep for the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. and that's, kill think, the am amnesia is closer to him, so amnesia is the bigger threat. Yeah. It would be harder for yeah. Gast to get over to him and kill if he doesn't have uh, like something like Aqua. But he, he can still do this now. He can still do all of this now. Uh, it okay, is... he's going to use his pigeon. That's not guaranteed at all. Uh, yeah. This is risky. This is very risky. Oh, oh right. Sorry. Pa cool. Patsy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Patsy is not the Patsy same as Pigeon works. because it, the A works a bit better. Imagine, uh, just, imagine if he had hit it and somehow managed to get a pile with gas. That would have been <laughs> pretty cool. What, what if what if Zalo gets wind now and he can't get over there because he because Hannah they used Patsy and that destroyed enough of the terrain there that. Yeah, so that, uh, that was a Zala good move. Yeah. That was a, a very good so, choice. Yeah, so maybe Patsy was better. I think Zalo at this point has to just go for the banana bomb. He can he can have a decent hide against Airstrex in here to the right, uh, but I think he needs to go for the banana bomb now. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Because why very not? Right? Oh, he's not oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, that, yeah. I don't think that can even work. Maybe if he gets just the right push on Valtteri. Let's see. Wow. Let's see. Yeah. No, oh, no, very no. bad luck. Okay. Mine, mine, Damn. mine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he I, I just, he already knew. Like, <laughs> but yeah, because he saw the Aqua Sheep, right? Uh, but he's not even. Senator doesn't even have to risk the Aqua Sheep now. He can just do the, do the well, strike. I mean. The aqua sheep is less of a risk now because he it's doesn't have not, to have a good hide. Don't jump! Stay there and shoot that, that, that. What are you doing? Okay. Well, that's kind of silly, but maybe, sure. maybe, maybe, that's maybe one just HP. Come on. on. That's a tough kind of a tough There, there we go. go. There Got we it. go. He's okay. He's safe. She's just no, practicing. Baba, okay, you know, for all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. if it was taking longer Good to get job. that rope, he could just land again and use the aqua sheet. Yeah, so nice and safe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I think this was a bit of a. I think this was uh, played with style in mind, not not revealing the good weapons that he still had, the aqua sheep and the carpet bomb, right? And he goes for the rope instead, and he also practices his rope a little bit this turn. Maybe maybe. But also, gets... it proves that um, it doesn't matter what weapons he had. Yeah, he yeah, could, yeah, he yeah. Could, he's proving that he could, he could win unconditionally. Yeah, that's the start part of it, I guess. Yeah. All right, I'm All looking right. for a new map. So Senator is be right back. So yeah, new Ooh, map. Oh, this should Wait be a good that. one. So the current score, everyone watching, is two one for S Gonzalo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is best of seven. So first to reach four. So yeah, we've still got quite quite a while to go. Hopefully see more great action as we've already seen. Yeah. Well, I, I I'm, think seeing, be... I'm watching very interesting matches right now because both are very skilled players and they are very impressing me a lot. So, so many uh, Wow moments. <laughs> yeah, there, there has been a bunch of flashy plays. Yeah. Yeah. I think usually when you when you're watching Senator play, you're more impressed with strategy in his games. But because we have Zalo here and Zalo is going for I don't want to say risky turns, but he's going for 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 turns that are aggressive, right? And he's getting them right so often that we have to admit admit that they're they're the good play to go for uh, in every instance if he's getting them with this much reliability. And I think that that first of all that threw Senator off in the first two rounds, but. Now it's going to be interesting to see whether Senator can turn this around on the back of a round one that uh, was kind of close. Yeah, it's nice to see Senator get back in there though, so it's not over yet. This is what I like to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely happy about that. I'll take a quick BRB as well. No back. worries. Yeah, I just need to get some water. No problem. Yeah, good idea for those 
sitting around watching in here for the, the, the long run, go get yourself a, a beverage, a refreshment, bathroom break, whatever you want. <laughs> Feed the cat, My take bathroom. the rubbish out. <laughs> My bathroom break could last a lot. <laughs> they would do <laughs> other four or five matches meanwhile, so no. Yeah. <laughs> he resist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm all settled. I've got my I've got my glass of uh, cola here. I'm all good. So hope you're all you're all enjoying today's matches. Why isn't the why does that keep turning off there? Right, so reading the chat there, and I'll do the the outcome there. So whoever guessed there, guess right. Senator, congratulations. So Vok is supporting Senator, obviously, and Danny there supporting Gonzalo. Each player yeah. supporting their, their clanmate, as they are both Vok and Senator being in TDC, and Danny and Zalo being in, I actually don't know what clan they're in now because the whole everybody's been changing so much recently. There's a new clan every day. <laughs> I get excited and then realise, oh, it's just people with a new name. <laughs> right. You should you should ask you should ask Chica about that. She's always making new plans <laughs> on TOS. But it's good. It's creative. That's and eventually they'll find that thing that works and lasts it's all fun anyway it's about the journey Ooh. right we're ready yeah. to go and maybe because okay uh... all right yeah we're ready yeah. Mm -hmm. i hope i hope this trend actually doesn't bother zala i think it's a good one like it's high contrast enough there's just some places in the in some of the three objects that are kind of dark right but I mean, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be good at any texture, right? So. Yep. I think um, the texture, the terrain texture, I'm most conflicted about is tentacle because it's got such amazing objects, but then its soil texture is so difficult to tell oh, apart from the front, from the foreground texture sometimes. I, I actually like that. That, that reminds, yeah, that reminds me of a, a good dad joke. How many tickles does it take to make a, an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. Ten. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a dad joke classic. What a bad thing to to hear tonight about okay <laughs> like, I can survive this a little bit of innocent fun there you just okay. ruined the entire final <laughs> well, uh, sorry actually, folks that's it game over nothing to see here move along have a good night <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 uh, well Vok appreciates the, the map uh, by the way I love this map. This is my favorite, obviously. <laughs> yeah, because it reminds you of the oh, yeah. BNG. Yeah. What's that little the mark BNG. there? Yeah, so basically the the in my head the theory is the first two rounds got slightly more open maps, so that's why we're giving them the next two maps slightly more close with with, them, with more access from the top. What is that? Uh, what we're going to be doing on the next round, though, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'll come up with something. What is that on the stream? I just, I just specifically want to drive the point home that variety is the spice of life. And, and uh, I want... So we have to an old woman here that's probably going to get used. Oh, uh, yeah, wise. I think so. I think he has to go for it. Not from here, though. Uh, he could, he could, oh, uh, he's just going for the girder classic senator play. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would have definitely gone for the granny there. Cause, cause even if you don't get the lucky plop, you can still, you can still pit the worm and you can, or you can blast into the right and maybe there's some sort of trial with the nature that happens. And, you know, there, there's options that you have then. Yeah, Komito was showing that so over there, uh, upright, there are two. Oh, uh, this is a tricky yeah. mine. Uh, Echeko, that was actually, that wasn't the map, that was an issue with the stream that I just fixed. I was looking at it thinking, uh, what is that? But it was an issue from me, but that's fixed, it's okay. 
Uh, okay, I thought you wanted to tell something regarding those uh, oil drums. And yeah. I think that maybe those were weird or something. There was something wrong about that. Something Yeah, it looked unusual. like it. It looked like it with the little line that was appearing on the stream, but I noticed it was... I hadn't entirely cropped uh, KRD's name properly, so that's fixed now. Ah, Apologies for that. Well, no, no, no. I was oh, watching the stream and nothing was wrong, so I I was thinking that you were showing actually this weird thing. Okay. Airstrike. Okay, Bravo actually, has shotgun uh, and grenades. Yeah, a he's blocked too closely gone. on the left to have used the shotgun there, so he uses it on the right. My predictions are up. I actually just bet like 200 rubber worms on Senator because I think he's gonna win this round because he has to, to make the final more <laughs> <Yeah>. interesting. <laughs> I just, I just always bet with my heart, never with my brain. Mm. That's what I usually I do. I vote for who I want to and not who I think is going to win. I just, I just want to see as long a final as we can. Maybe if Why we not? all believe in all chance, Senator, 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 uh, it might happen. Yeah, just don't chant it too much because <laughs> then he's going to win 4-2 and then we're going to be sad again. Uh. <laughs> I do, I do example, want to see the final deciding round. A good example of that of how your own actions can come to bite you in the ass. Yeah, exactly. That's how the universe works. And that's actually that's actually a good point that you've raised before about this scheme is when you see one individual turn happen, thanks for the follow, Cookie Monster. Uh, nom nom nom. Uh, when you see an individual turn, you've got to realise that that could have been different had they done something else different in the past. And you have raised that quite a lot. How to control yeah, yeah. the players RNG. Have, um, both players have flamethrower. Oh, interesting. So the one, the one round where Senator picked up a flamethrower, he ended up not even using it, right? What a beautiful oh, that was granny. Good uh, he can still get up though, I think. If he gets red wind, he can still get up. See, if you respect your elders, they'll take care of you. <laughs> One interesting thing that happened as a result of that granny was that Ghast was actually blocked by this worm that ended down below there. Yes. Oh. And that's, that's, that maybe played a part in, in Zalo electing to move this one, this one, instead of doing something like unblocking Paddy, correct? That's rather unusual kind of block to get. Yeah, yeah. This it was not that hard, like it. Uh, Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, He could use the parachute, actually, the hit here to... Because um, with yeah, just four yeah, bars, yeah. you can still stop yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to choose the right moment to stop the parachute and to Two seconds, that. one second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, this is like 20 damage. Not that much. Mm. I got you. At least they did try to get the crit. Yeah. I think he could have definitely gotten that crit, though. Uh, just uh, breaking... We call this with David, we call this parachute breaking, where in midair, you just before landing, you just tap the parachute, you flick it uh, on and off, and that yeah. slows you down enough that uh, it modifies your jump trajectory just enough to make it land. We That's actually, risky, though, because if you land before you hit pair space the second time, then you fire whatever your default weapon was. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is risky. Ooh, there's a skunk again. We actually used this a similar. We actually used a similar technique in the dark scheme. This could be the, good. This could be very good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Can, the other one. The other one. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. Get so it. close. <laughs> good effort. Yeah, uh, he, could, he could have even theoretically gotten a skunk and three worms there, right? Because mm. with just the right wind and with the skunk going into the corner above gas, uh, maybe panic gets poisoned as well. Uh, Alright, so okay. yeah. suddenly Zala knows how to do that jump now. Okay. 
It has to uh, be attention. I think this next one, this this next one has to be a back jump, though. Mm. Uh, yeah. And even then, it's hard. Complicated. Yeah. I think it's doable, though. Oh. I think this should be doable. Get on up. <sighs> Come on. It's so close. The thing is, he, mm. he didn't take the second half step to the left, did he? He could oh, bungee. Yeah, he yeah, did, then he could he not bungee and do a, uh, a, a, a flagpole bungee? There's no place to bungee mm -hmm. from. No, not from there. Well, oh, nice I'm, I'm going to do that after if it's long enough, at least. There, there was a danger there of his worm getting pushed by Ollie, though. That was kind of risky. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was. Now, a senator can get two crits, but it depends on what he has in his mind now, because... Um, I, th I think, I think he, he do go for the crits now. Yeah. I think his Toppy Worm is... If he first has of all, his Toppy Worm weapons. is stuck in there anyway, right? So, because that Worm is stuck, you want to be moving him anyway, and if you get two crates out of it and a teleport to a top spot, and you're going to be specifically taking that top spot from, from Zalo, who had it previously, right? Uh, I think this just has to be the move now. There's no reason to go on the aggressive here and try and, I don't know, fire a bunch of Nisha. Or... He could... He could kill Amnesia, though, using the uh, flamethrower that he has. I think it's doable. It's oh, not easy. Oh, yeah. He... No, 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 no. I prefer to move... Ah, oh, okay. Oh, well, nice grab. Okay. Oh, that, that, I like that's that. a I like player. that. I'm not sure I do. Well, he, he, he got 30 HP, so he knows Zal has one grenade left, right? I don't think that grenade can open up uh, trauma and kill off Ollie, so at least that's not a problem. But I, I still would have gone. I still would have gone for the crates using Saku and teleport Saku up top, because he could also get something amazing, right? He could get something that I don't know kills Amnesia from down there. Right? Yeah. Oh, here we go again with this parachute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, he got oh, nice. it. Yeah. He had more wind this time. So we yeah, can just do I the think this jump. was doable with the wind on the previous turn already, and now it's definitely doable. Yeah. What you doing? I think they they both slowed down now, though, and they're both you know, considering defensive plays and girders way more than they were at the beginning of the rounds. Senator has to because he saw that uh, if he if he lets Zalo play aggressively, uh, that's how he loses, right? And and Zalo, on the other hand, I feel like. This is this is the sort of thinking that I would go through, where I have two amazing rounds at the beginning okay. of a match against someone, and and I start noticing that uh, if I if I stop getting as lucky with crates and with initial positions and with wind and with everything, right? Uh, the way Hello. the way I counter that is by just playing more safe. So Senator just got cows. You know, cows is good. Yeah, Skunk as well. Skunk, Skunk maybe on Trauma would be good if he gets strong red wind. Skunk Trauma at some point, maybe. Cause is good, Flamethrower is good. I think at this point, Senator uh, is going to be feeling feeling more confident in his plays. And his choices on of what to do, I saw an accident. Uh, his choices of what to do on his turns are going to get easier and simpler. And I think, I think that's something that helps Senator tremendously. When he just had some obvious stirs, and that 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 allows him to play his own game like all of the time, right? He might be using a cow here. No, he's oh he's, he's going to use the uh, axe. Oh, it's Zalo that has the cows. I thought he said Senator. No, I I um it's sorry I got confused for a minute there. Um, oh okay, so so it is Zalo. Zalo the only has the axe and the flamethrower. So um, oh I see. Senator has flamethrower, cows, and skunk, right? And airstrike. And airstrike. Right. Oh, airstrike is interesting. He he could he could go for amnesia and ruin the ruin the way up. Because then his Ollie worm doesn't just easily die, right? On the other hand, if Zalo is using one of his worms to go for Ollie, his height is going to be somewhere around panning. I, I like this airstrike. Though. Ooh. Oh, it gets a nice pile there. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a decent pile. That's a decent pile. That something was a like very good air strike. Nice damage yeah, as well. Like 59. Holy hand grenade here would be amazing. 
So that worm can be killed with a fire punch, at least, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Now they, they, now they oh. each have one, one exactly 30 HP worm. An axe is a very useful uh, weapon. I always have underestimated that. He's lining up the shotgun here. Useful. Is he going to? Yeah. Is, oh, I see. Is he yeah, using? See, see, is he yeah. using the background, the grid back, black back ground? Is, I'm yeah. trying to say. I'll show you what I mean on the stream. So yeah, the the problem with that is that <clears> background, <throat> that background background strap that's uh, right where that girder in the middle of the map ends yeah. at the top is right in the middle. There's no lines nearby. What was he even contemplating, though? A shotgun to kill Ollie or a, he a doesn't bow have arrow, shotgun. probably. Has he got she a... doesn't have shotgun. Does he not have any weapon like that, like bow and arrow or anything, though? No? Yeah, nope. apparently not. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's thinking he was, of something else entirely was, then. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was just bait. Maybe he's playing mind games with Senator and trying to convince him that he has shotgun or longbow and he doesn't. Try. Well, yeah, it made I mean, Senator move that worm. As, yeah, yeah. As Chicken I mean, Two Free word. likes to say, it's kind of like poker. You can you can bluff. You can make it look yeah, like you've yeah, got yeah. things that you don't. It's yeah. so interesting when you think of it that way. As a mini gun to me. Could the problem is sim similarly to poker. Like bluffing is not usually the, the correct player. Right? It's better to just play with what you know. Right and and with the information that you know, use that and make the correct play with that in mind. It does work, I'm though. surprised here, though, that Senator didn't go for an easy kill on Amnesia. Because why not, right? Hi, Koro Zhao. Hi, I think Zalo should leave a little space to go down and get supposed crates. Oh, hey, Koro. Yeah, I'm not sure what Senator was thinking on his previous turn. Like, why teleport Ollie there? This is like almost strictly a worse hide than the one than the one he had before, and well, I guess I guess he got a crate out of it. All right, so now Zalo is finding a girder that's going to be harder to to explode away. He does still have access though to the left side of the map. He would lose his own worm after that, says Vok. I guess that was the thing, says Vok. Well, yeah, but he's he's getting a 30 worm for a 30 worm, and he's got slightly better top control. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's maybe he would have had worse top control at that point. Fortunate wind for Senator there. Yeah, he can get up now. That, that's why I didn't like that hide, though, because what if he doesn't get the wind, right? And this is still a long track. Now he's gonna, if he now goes for the 30 HP worm kill anyway, and then dies to Gust anyway, I'm not sure what he's accomplished, right? Well, two turns have passed, and that Gust so worm is Dragon poison. Ball would be the right thing there to open up that girder, right? Uh, yeah, the problem is you can maybe knock yourself down okay. there. Okay, fire punch. Yeah, it yeah. works as well. I think, I think this was safer. Because with a Dragon Ball, you're more likely to, to knock yourself down there. Nice and easy. It does kind of open suck on there. I think this round, Senator, Senator does recognize that he's the one getting strong weapons. So opening the map up and creating more opportunities for worms to attack each other, even if there's all his worms attacking his worms, right? Uh, I think he can he can make the estimation that that's better for him overall. Because Zalo does need a lot of crates this round before before he has a guaranteed way of of closing it out, right? And Senator almost has everything he needs. He can he can uh, fire punch and flamethrower one of the worms. He can use mad cows on the other worm, and the third worm is poisoned, right? So that one's going to be easy to kill in the late game anyway. Uh, sudden death is incoming. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, would it be good for him to use his rope now? Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. Maybe rope on Saku. Oh, he could also just open up Altairi, though. Uh, he's going for the rope. I think he's going for it. 
Okay. Maybe sudden death. Ah, uh, no, he's not against it. Oh, he's not going to die. Oh, no. oh, no. oh no. the pins extending one to the right. Oh, no. Hey, uh, why? He probably uh, multi too. Just, yeah, that, that, was, that was just uh, an input fail, I guess. That's kind of yeah. unlucky. That car pushed him all the way yeah. down. Damn. Uh, turned by accident, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. It happens to me a lot of the times, but that's because I'm clumsy. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely done that sort of thing before myself. Yeah. It feels bad when you lose it. Personally speaking, I think that's one of the most amazing things about this game and why I've, I've enjoyed it for so long is playing it. I, I've literally got over like 30,000 hours playing this game and reading about this <laughs> game and whatever. And it's like since 1999, of course. So. Yeah. And it never ceases to surprise me. I'm always learning new things. It's always making me laugh, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I think with an engine as interesting as this game has, it's literally impossible to get bored of it. Like, there's so many things that you can do in this game. It's basically a sandbox, right? So if you get bored of roping, you can get into Team 17. If if Team 17 uh, gets you down because you get unlucky, right? You can switch to something like Roper or Warmer, right? And it's a completely yes. different way of playing it. Yes. Right? And you can play it competitively, and you can play it very casually as well and just laugh, right? Uh, that's what's so good about it is that's I think that's the best choice any company can make. But a lot of companies these days, they actually choose not yeah, to do that because thing, right? it sort of prevents them from being creative and making money. I mean, if they make if, look at this game, look at all the different possibilities. That's what I think makes it special is how customizable it is down to the very foundation and physics of the game itself. You don't get that level of customization with the official game with many other games without the support yeah. of being mods like we've got the worm kit modules the actual standalone game now you've got so much customization so much control on a base game and how cheap it is compare that to any other game you get these days and yeah well they're all good games they're great you don't you don't have as much control and the ability to create your own things as much as this from what i've seen anyway yeah but i mean the 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 other the flip side of the coin there is that creating a game that's this open and this much of a sandbox is harder right and uh. it takes more time to do it right and i mean if you and just also, want to launch launch a product and get get the money going and start yes. earning, right? And if you then think about it, going for this maybe doesn't make sense. Right? And if you think about it from a business perspective, yeah. they kind they they sort of limit things because if if they make it too good, nobody will buy the next version. Yeah, it's called dynamic I feel like, obsolescence. I feel, like, I feel like that's already happened with worms games. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, so, actually, uh, this worm is blocked, and yeah. uh, he's the only... No, it's not the only one. He has another no one. Strikes. No strikes yeah. at all. I think on the previous... The Senator uh, had a, a do-nothing turn last turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right why now. Team 17 hates us. <clears throat> yeah, they probably do. <laughs> if, if they... Are you referring to, to the cat? <laughs> Yes, I think Senator, yeah. because he had that empty turn with Nico oh, yeah, uh, on the previous turn, uh, that, was, that was a sign to us that he's struggling. Right? He's he's not thinking quickly enough to think of place to go for, because that Nico um, definitely had something better to do than nothing. And to to then on the on the very next turn get axed by 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 Zalo Swarm. Uh, I think I think this is again putting a lot of pressure on Senator. And he's gonna yeah. he's gonna have an answer quickly now because if he goes uh, if he goes okay. three zero down, I mean if he goes three one down, he's he's in a lot of trouble. Yes. You don't want to be you want to you want to be playing from ahead against aggressive players because aggressive players thrive on momentum. Uh, that is something that that I think holds true in in almost any any game and in any sport, right? So as a more defensive player, if you can stay ahead or at least even, you're much happier. 
As they say, the best and defense is a good offense. Yeah, yeah that as well. Yeah, that, that, that does get modified by by someone being specifically a defensive player. There, and I think we can say that Senator yeah. is one. Have you ever played uh, StarCraft, any of you? Hello. I not personally, I've, I've, I've yeah, seen we, we, others talk about it and stuff, but I've not experienced yeah, it yeah, myself. Uh, because Gonzalo plays uh, like uh, uh, an insane a AI Zerg, <laughs> and instead Senator is more reflexive and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like so, robots. But by the way, the, um, <laughs> the, the block on Gast is not a block. Just barely at 16 pixels, so he um, just barely sense. can get through sense. there. And I, th I think Zalem knows that it's not a block because he checked on the previous turn whether or not he could walk inside there, and he could. I actually don't understand what you just said there because I don't know the, the technical information about that yeah. game, but yeah, show but me afterwards. Basically, basically, with StarCraft, you have the Zerg race, which is uh, known for the Zerg rush. They play very aggressively. They, they, right. uh, Buy a lot of a lot of units and they rush you down with them. Whereas the other two races are more methodic. Right, right. And especially especially the Protoss uh, race is known for a slow play style. Where yeah, my uh, for example, yeah. I like Protoss because they are slow as like yeah. me, and so we, we can understand <laughs> each other. <laughs> Mini gun. <laughs> and so th that uh, came oh, yeah, into my mind. Given the weapons that Gonzalo has, there was no obvious better yeah. thing to do there, so he's just blocking. He, he could have maybe pitted Miko with just something like uh, something from the F4 row, maybe, well, but he, I think that's a riskier play. And especially especially when, when he saw that he picked up the minigun, that told him that he needs to wait until he attacks this worm. Once he's below 100 HP, he maybe gets a guaranteed kill well, on him. Even... I mean, it has to go well under 100 to uh, be yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's not a well, minigunable you could, you spot, could, you could you do could a straight up, but then you're yeah, not guaranteed up. 100 or more. Yeah, you could yeah, get it. Yeah. 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 But especially with the uh, spot there where you can stand, there isn't. Um, the, I mean, the cliff goes way down yeah, on its first this pixel. Uh, this aqua ship could kill Volteri now. Well, now it's like a game. I block you, you block me, and... <laughs> I'm not sure this... I think it might have been good to just go for the Aqua Sheep there. I think I'm maybe thinking too aggressively uh, here, and... Um, I could be don't know if Gonzalo is confident enough in his Aqua Sheeping to do that kind of a uh, an Aqua. Oh, what's that? Well, but you, you, you do have Aqua Sheep, or at least Super Sheep in Mole Shopper, right? <laughs> So I'm thinking, and we saw him in that second round uh, pile of the pile of the aqua ship very well into the into the tunnel and get the and get the kill. So he, I think he could account for it. The 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 thing is, uh, what what That's changes? That's a pretty what hard <laughs> place to aqua from. Uh, you well, barely have enough time to turn enough room to turn around. Sorry, well, I just I'd had a JD it. from Scrubs moment there. I'd be dropping it, David, from the right cliff and then activating it immediately, do the circle and go directly down into the water. And I think that way it's like um, safe enough. Uh, do you think yeah, that, like you uh, that. No, can be, uh, <laughs> that this can be a bit dangerous for Miko because if he has an aqua ship, he can he block has an him. Aqua ship yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Or well, another maybe gun can kill here. Zalo is actually two turns ahead here, because even if he doesn't get a kill on this one, he still gets another chance at him. And uh, Senator's <sighs> next one is blocked up anyway, so only airstrike things. He also has the HHG, yeah. so he's going yeah, for the more yeah. sure kill instead yeah. of the... Uh, uh, he's got to get a good yeah, retreat is... here, though. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, this is going to work. I just he's had very good with uh, <laughs> I just had an out. Zalo is... Has a very good understanding of the. What's this? Uh, yeah, most HHG's weapons bias. he's very confident. Uh, uh, his height is kind of, kind of questionable though. I yeah. Maybe it's fine. Well, very nice. Yeah. I've just oh, realised how to do automatic replays. 
the only the only reason this situation transpired in the first place is because Predator just didn't move up with his healthy worm on one of the turns, and then on the next turn he went for the girder instead of opening. And what that did was that just brought his HP lower, right? So it like was it was it just strictly better to open Valtteri up on his previous turn instead of doing the girder? Mm -hmm. I think so. Because even if he, even if Valtteri dies on the next turn, you're still in the same situation, right? But if he doesn't die, then there's some upside to it. I suppose well, what I the Gerda um, did was it split the map in two. So I think he has to know. seriously hide now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got a risk here, but uh, I I don't see how because there's still the rope, right? Salo does still have his um, rope. He could drill down. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, this is the air strike. <laughs> he, he, he needs to get the flop, though. He needs yeah. to. Oh, wow. Um, that didn't do anything. Wow. Oh, no. Uh, did, he, did he also have an air strike? Oh. He didn't have an Actually, air strike. Actually, most anymore. strike, it's not so simple as it may seem. <laughs> These are my pets. <laughs> <laughs> that this was nice. They don't attack the owner. <laughs> yeah. I would have, I would have loved to see Zalo's reaction in person there because it was a mole one. I, I bet he just had a smirk and went amateur. <laughs> Shook his head and went tut tut. Well, yeah, but the thing is, mole strikes not something that mole players even know. I'm not sure it's even in the scheme. <laughs> Alright, he got him. Three, GG. One for uh, Gonzalo. He needed how much damage? Like 23. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, there were a lot of choices there. He could have even done Blowtorch. Oh, yeah. Alright, so time for a new style of map again. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, this looks interesting. I like right. it. Hello, Dexter. It's nice. Mm. Which one? So Zalo here, Gonzalo, is on match point. One more win for him, yep. and he is the champion of season 29. Senator has one victory, so he still needs to win three more. So he's got a tough fight. I have to give him at least one art map. So I think it's going to be this next one. Which Dexter? Art. A heart. Ah, oh, Karina. I like that. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I used to like that uh, texture a lot. <laughs> My favorite were art and uh, baseball. What's the second one? Baseball or whatever sports. Right, are we ready to go? Oh, sports. Yeah. yeah, 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 the sports. Mm. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's very creative. By the way, I wanted to tell something totally off topic, but since, uh, well, not so off topic, but Oops. never mind. Uh, well, um, I noticed that um, uh, last time I showed my um, cups uh, to Kamito, I noticed that there are all. Uh, you remember the uh, the cups, um, the oh, trophies. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, on a surf shopper shopper cup, if yeah. you remember. Yes. Yeah. Actually, um, I noticed that uh, many other things can be done on Photoshop with the Photoshop, and this came into my mind because I saw this texture, which is uh, an art. It has an artist base. So like um, it reminds me that sometimes I have to to go back on Photoshop and doing stuff. Yeah. Like like artists, you know. Well, that's actually and... quite a lot of shopping scheme fans, and a lot of the variation you guys have been doing. I've seen a lot of activity, and everybody's active. They play their games fast. Does like they, they do have issues where people <laughs> make mistakes and cow, but. The moderator makes a decision, they all accept it, they all move on, and everybody's having fun, it seems, so it's quite good the way that you're you're all doing the cups and stuff at the moment. 
Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I, th I think I think the Burns community, even on the TUS website, has matured over the years. Yeah. So then part of that is also just being slightly more responsible in terms of like showing up on time and then organizing matches without too many competitions. But I mean, there's there's well, always some some drama that happens anyway. It's some. I can personally attest to that, Gregor, because if I was walking down the street, okay, and I seen myself from 10, well, 15 years ago, walking on the other side of the road, or sorry, on the same side of the road, I would cross over to avoid myself, you know? So, yeah, we evolve, we move on. Yeah, that's fun, though, I mean... I never took you as some sort of bully, even even <laughs> in your even in your younger years. You're always a softy as far as I'm concerned. I just always had uh, a temper. Like yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Homing us. Oh. Right, so the, the opening of this round was interesting again. I think uh, this is what I was trying to point out earlier, was that as an aggressive player, and I think even though Zalo is obviously capable of playing uh, any way he likes, right, even strategically, uh, but sometimes as, as someone who is also capable of playing aggressively, he, you want to be ahead, and he's 3-1 up now, and I think that's what prompted him to, to start playing more aggressively again, and that first turn with the blowtorch onto the mine and another blowtorch to just get some chip damage in on, on uh, Miko, on that same worm that took the mine damage, I think that's evidence to suggest that Zalo is trying to, this round, close this final out, win it 4-1, Take the trophy home. GG. Right, and I think as so... senator, as, as, as his opponent, you can also recognize that and maybe uh, maybe maybe see that he's trying to rush it a little bit. And there's maybe ways you can do, ways in which you can play the game. I where... don't understand why Zalo doesn't just teleport to <clears throat> under that paintbrush. I mean, you yeah. know, just to the right yeah. of the paintbrush. Yeah, I, get, I, I, get I, think I think that's... Yeah, I, I do think that's part 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 of this, right? He's he's trying to close this final out now, and he's seen well, that's that not the, rounds, the way to do it rounds. to stay in there and nice. do fire punches. He needs Senna crates. Can get all these yeah, crates now. Yeah. I um. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I, I have found myself in situations similar to this, though, where where I just say to myself that. <laughs> The way I'm going to win this round, I just decide, right? This is not the correct way to play this game, but I just decide that I'm going to I'm gonna try and, and inflict some sort of surprise on my opponent, right? And, and the, way, the way you open the map up for that is, is different. You play differently than if, you, if you're specifically planning to take the round late and, and end it in some sort of good or late game. Right? Uh, it's also definitely possible to overdo that, right? And, and, and just make a mistake this way. I, I, I find it interesting that you're talking about all this kind of stuff because I never make that kind of decision. I just um, yeah, I I make know. individual plans. I decide, yeah. you know, but uh, I don't make an I overall plan like I'm going to win the game this way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, just yeah, adapt yeah. as I, I'm I going. Yeah, I, th I think you're too methodical a player to ever think this way. I I'm less methodical than you are, but I think Zalo is even less methodical than I am, right? Just on the spectrum of this, right? And he sometimes can just decide. I've, se I've seen this before. I've seen this when he was when I was watching the replays that Chicken played against him, right, in this playoff. I've seen this uh, with some of his season matches uh, in TRL as well. Ooh, this oh, is a smart nice uh, It's going to be much damage, yeah. Yeah, uh, he got oh, some sort okay. of Okay, a couple of flames were. Is that gone, a pet? But... Can that in one fact, get he, out of he there? opens um, that for trauma. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he does pile the worms, though, and he knows that Zalo doesn't oh, have any nice weapons. Nice wind right. for that as yeah. well. He just hasn't been going for crates. Very nice wind for that. Yeah. Uh, does Zalo even have a weapon right now, though? Nothing. He has nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah, but that he, was not so bad, that punch. Useful, because he's near yeah. the drum so now. It seems that Zala's plan is to gain a stronghold down inside this lair, rather than getting outside. Um, yeah, he, I mean, yeah. 
questionable because he may never get any crates. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting that because I I have seen this before from other players as well. Like someone like Tanner, uh, Tanner, right? Uh, he goes for this sort of place like quite often as well, and I think he goes for it when he senses weakness in his opponent. And I think Zalo is maybe sensing that a little bit with Senator because he has had some turns where even though he took them slowly, he still ended up making the wrong choice, right? Or not doing anything with his turn. And I think. That shows to Zalo that maybe Senator is in trouble, and I don't know. May maybe he's not thinking as quickly as uh, he's supposed to be. And the way the way you can take advantage of that is just play very quickly yourself. And this is playing very quickly. And if you look at the health bars, he's ahead. He's significantly ahead right now because of those weird fire punches. And it's not like he can't transition out of this, right? It, well, he could do a one-way opening here with Blue Scorch that Senator can't come in through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, I, see what, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, I think he sees it. Oh, no, he's not going for it. He's going for the crate. I think yeah. going for the crate is good. He needs crates, right? And hiding in the cranny. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So he got... Um, Two crates, one of them from inside and, and one of them upon exiting. He has sheep and a dynamite. Those are good weapons. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Senator has mortar uh, that I can see. Yeah. And, uh, it, yeah, well. yeah, but he also has a minigun, so he's probably going to use the minigun here. Yeah, yeah, this looks like a minigun turn. Because. Oh, well, you can use uh, a mortar in, uh, in these kind of games. Ooh, I don't like oh. this. Just well, uh, we, know, we know Zalo has dynamite now, so Ollie being on 60 HP, it doesn't matter whether he's dynamitable or not. But Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the, cheating, the, I'm the cheating for Senator this I mean, game. Now, note yeah, that Senator also that has um, bat. Yeah. That is the thing he chose not to play around by, by hiding Ollie there instead of underneath the paint too. I want to see more, so come on, Senator. Make all yeah, the right I want to see more as well. Yeah, I want to see at least two more rounds, including this one. Let's see if yeah. uh, Senator yeah. moves like Jagger. This was interesting, though, that Zala chose to kill off this worm, which didn't have a, an obvious way of getting out uh, instead of doing the same to Ollie. Hmm. He's also choosing not to pick up the crate. So is this maybe a turn where Valtteri picks up the crate, the crate next to him, then the crate up above next to Saku, and maybe ropes up? No, it looks like no. Maybe he knew that that worm's probably going to come after him anyway. Oh, he's going to use the bat. Yeah, he's got the bat. I think the bat. I think I think the bat is going to work to the left. Yeah. This was this was the danger well, with doing the, the dynamite on this one, though. Oh wow! No, no, no. Yeah, he way. he's got to get the angle we'll exactly the right. <laughs> this was always okay. the danger when deciding to go for the worm on the nah. left. Oh, nice, oh, wow. Wow. really nice. good. Bravo. Nice. Let's see the goose. Yes, he did it. He did Bravo. it by. He didn't align the bat and then use the bat. He did it in one smooth motion, and that's yeah, that's that sort beautiful. of how I play. Oh, that, what is uh, it? Yeah, this is the rope. It's a very hard rope turn to go for, though. But we have been seeing pretty good rope turns from Zalos. So. Yeah, he's gonna have to tie the ball. Wow, it didn't Gregor. even. Yeah, they... that's how. Um... Oh, wasn't. Uh... Maybe, oh, who was it? Oh, you remember Fred a lot? Yeah, sure, I remember Fred, yeah. When I started, in... when I started really getting into B&G, me and him used to play, play Free Second Wars, where the only shot we could use was Free Second, and we'd done it how Senator done that, where we'd aim up yeah. and let go yeah. at the right time. Yeah, that was a nice smart. plan. Yeah, that's kind of nice. that's kind of that's kind of similar, Dave, to the scheme called paranoia, which is hysteria but with zero turn time, yeah, where yeah. you have you have to pre-hold all of all of your inputs. Yeah, 
It's quite fun. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the thing that happened there to Senators were, is exactly the thing I was trying to prevent on the turn before. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the for the previous turn using that worm. Because he could have he could have picked up two crates and then decided whether or not he wanted to go for the for the bat on the worm up top. He would have had to use the rope for it, but uh, he he's just exposing that worm down there to to so many things, right? And he got Oof. punished for it as well. It is hard playing a, a playoff final, especially when you know it's going to be best of seven. So a lot of reference play. It, it can play with your mind a little bit and, and mess with oh, your focus. Oh, that's not a block. Not a block. Well, yeah. no, it's that's not blocked block. because he can jump. Or... Can he get uh, it's, it's a it's a tricky jump though. If he, if he doesn't yeah, it's a little get bit tricky. Win, it's a tricky jump. Come on, let show us the. That might be a block. The, I would go for the back jump. Oh, oh, oh we get it. Wow. Senna are unlucky. You don't know parole, Shabba. That yeah, could yeah. very well be the mistake that secures. He's going for the back jump. That's a beautiful flag. Oh, oh, beautiful flagpole, though. He'll get another attempt at that. Yeah, nice try. Nice try there. I think he's going to go for it again, but now he's, he doesn't have a come lot on, of time. Come on, come on, show us how to do that. Come on, do he it. He only has Pizarro that one crate. Definitely one oh, of the better, come on, come uh, on. Bunchy, bunchy come on. users. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess he's yeah. going to yeah. use he's the axe. axe. Nothing, okay, yeah. it's never yeah. mind. At least they had a backup plan there. Yeah. Blocking his own I mean, little tiny layer <laughs> in there. I think actually the axe was plan A, and uh, the bungee he saw afterwards and just decided to try for it. He could have gotten it though, easily enough. Hi, Jester Lol, thanks for that. Glad you're enjoying it. This may be the last match if Gonzalo wins. It is best of seven. Thanks for the follow, big old chubbers. <laughs> I like that name. What a nickname. There's That's a famous a hamster, nickname. or there was, on the hamster subreddit called Chubberbutt or something like that. Thanks there's for the follow, guys. There's a hamster subreddit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Senator <laughs> is going to go for another block here, which actually will be a block this time. Yeah. He wants another chance at this block. Yeah, the way this round played out, I, I thought it would have, I thought it would have been slower, but they ended up because because of the way Zala opened up and just went for the fire punches, and oh, when he was blocked with two of his worms, he chose to open with blowtorch. Right, uh, that was... just made it so that a lot of a lot of kills were possible. I think that favors Zala ah. though. Yeah. Senator okay. this round is gonna have to he's gonna have to dominate the top of the map and hope for no airstrikes and that's the way you overcome such a high uh, disparity in in the health that your opponent's worms have versus your own. I think you can get both those crates and get back up with parachute. Uh, is that open to the left? Oh, it is. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. he do does yeah. he see it? Oh wait. No. Uh, <laughs> not, maybe not. Seven percent. Senator doesn't think it's open, because otherwise, why would he be going for the sheep now, right? Oh, can he get the plop? He could get the plop uh, here maybe. if the sheep turns around. has hmm. to, to press space at the right moment to get a plop. Maybe. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's, it's something to TA. Oh, sheep are so stupid. This must have been possible. This must have been possible. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. they stuck in a pixel on a bit in yeah. front of a wall. They never go back. Well, he would have had to release the sheep in a different way so that it would. Yeah, um, he yeah, have exactly. a chance to trigger it when he's not in range of it. Yeah, yeah. But he could have just shot. He it did pit. I think. I don't think this is a pit. I think this is backflipable. Oh, it's close. Pow! <laughs> I think it might be. I think this is doable. Just jump them. <laughs> so she so isn't is, here. Sudden death is still two minutes away, and I think I think that's better for Senator than it is for for Zalo. Who's actually? Let's see, you know. Something, some, someone picking up an aqua ship here on this map would be would be very good though for them because there's so many side crates, right? Mm. 
they do they do need to start taking sudden the sudden that the round timer into account now though starting this turn i want to say come on so the, the the conversation that happens in your head in a situation like this is what are the weapons that i have and are those weapons enough for me to to finish this round off like mm. do i have enough damage to kill off a worm that i've been blocking for the that I that I choose to block on the next five turns, for example. It's and, not and even so the best map to rope from one side to the other either, because of all that in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the rope's hard. Yeah. So, so, so he chose to teleport. Yeah, to and there. given the fact that Gonzalo used his rope already, it's pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Love yeah. You. You block me. And not just that. If that um, is the Sanders song I was singing in my head earlier, Ichiko, when I started <laughs> laughing to myself. I was like, I oh my god, okay, I do that. You block me, everybody <laughs> <Okay>. will block us. <laughs> <laughs> With a block block, Great. paddy whack, whatever. whatever. Like. <laughs> wow. You know how now how my mind works <laughs> doing I use a, I useless stuff like that. <laughs> I was also thinking of that song. What is it? Um... Oh, <laughs> come <laughs> on. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> he he could have gotten crates with the Ollie. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm, I block you. The reason I'm so upset me. with that turn is not, not just because he blocked, but not because he chose to <laughs> not go for the crates. The reason oh, I'm no. upset is... Uh, how many girders are there in these I mean, he, 17 schemes? Is Infinite this one not unlimited? If he's been counting the number of crates that Gonzalo has, he would know Gonzalo has nothing. He could go anywhere yeah. he wants with impunity yeah, yeah, during yeah, that yeah. time, and he didn't. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the upsetting thing. I, I think at this point, he's already choosing not to play around airstrikes, even if he doesn't know that Zala doesn't have any weapons, right? So at that point... What does the girder give you, right? Doesn't it just delay know. delay the thing, the part of the match that, that you want to see start happening? And all, also, he was pitting, he was blocking a worm that was already very much pitted. There are almost yeah. no weapons that can come out of that area. Yeah. Well, I mean, he could have gotten blocked with blue Yeah, so now his next turn is going to be sad anyway, because he's just going to go for the sort of torch here, probably, right? Come on, I want to see some blood. Okay, do that. Just oh, okay. Don't. That's don't, fine. Don't, don't, this is gonna don't. be like forty damage. Forty. Yeah, forty. Maybe forty-two. Ah. I'm gonna get. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> someday, Chico. Someday you'll be able to do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me some numbers for the lotto so I can win something? Three numbers so I can gain some money without doing absolutely anything. <laughs> All right, 15, 16, 23, 42. Bah. And that's a testimony from someone who's been using the same numbers for how many years now? <laughs> yeah. Never played anything. It's game. Well, so some bad picks of this. Last song. reference. I carry these numbers and only these numbers in my back pocket, just in case they are ever required. Okay. Just in case someone has lottery numbers at some point. <laughs> could be. Could very well be. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the way this oh, round is playing out either. Not not just because it's blocky. I, I, I don't uh, think these blocks are are especially on Senator's part. I don't think these are the correct yes, play because yeah, with such a disparity in how many how many crates they've each picked up, he he should be he should be the one trying to he should be the one trying to control the top, get even more crates, and get crates that can kill Zalos worm in a single turn, right? And that's. Holy hand grenade, maybe aqua sheep, mm. banana bombs, other explosive things, the bigger airstrikes, so, uh, all of those are good. And he's, he's just electing not to go for crates. And I don't like that. He's like decided that. to switch the pace here, making a move, hoping that Senator doesn't have a good enough weapon to kill that worm, I yeah. assume. 
Yeah, but I mean, the only reason a play like this was po- it was even possible for Zala uh, was that Senator didn't choose to go for more crates because yeah. if he had more crates, this sort of play is just not good. You die to mini right? And also, if if you are a player, you can keep track of the amount of crates a player has used, opposed to how yeah, many weapons yeah. have used. If you want, and if you do that. You can sort of estimate, right, they've got about this much chance of being able to do this. Yeah. I think he's just going to go for a blowtorch again. But I, Oh, wow, he's teleporting away. I think he needed to do this turn yeah. way, way before. And using his other worm, I think Saki was the one who needed to go for a, a, some sort of risky positional play and get crates. Because mm-hmm. now Zalo literally doesn't need almost anything to... Ooh, is this barrel gonna explode? I think it is. Yeah, yeah Zalo at this point is not gonna need any good weapons to close this round out, and the way Senator would have been able to prevent that was to just go for something, pick up more crates. And he still has the rope advantage, but if he's gonna be stuck uh, in blocks for the entire rest of this round, he's not even gonna be able to do anything using his rope bag. So it doesn't it, look like Ollie is dying this round. Uh, I mean, this turn, though. Yeah, because even using the rope isn't as useful as it could be in other maps because that whole middle section, it's its such yeah, a long yeah, yeah. stretch of flat ground, there's not really anywhere good enough to grab the rope onto. So what does Zala have now? He has one weapon, right? Skunk. Uh, right, so if, if Senator knew Zala only had Skunk, then a body block on Amnesia here is not that bad. He doesn't die to it, right? Right. And he doesn't die to Blowtorch, so... And then on his Blood next Torch turn... can do... Um, you know, if he did yeah, a body block, a flesh Ooh, body yeah. block, he could be killed. He would be down to 40 next turn, and... Uh... We already saw oh, the God. No. Oh, no. again. No. 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 Yeah, so now we have to now we have to have oh. the conversation. Uh, did did Senator have weapons that he thought would have been enough to to close out this round and win it for him? And no. if not, yeah, I, I think that argument is difficult to be made. Oof. So. Because it was Zala lagging out again, I think I mean, it's always possible that you could get a an Armageddon. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't have so, it though. For those watching, um, unfortunately, we've had Gonzalo disconnect from the game, so they're just discussing the what happens now. Yeah, I reopened the house, so hopefully he can get back in quickly. Madonna. That's annoying, though. That's very annoying. Mm. It never ends. I, I think it's back in now. Right. <laughs> Very <Someone> unfortunate. <laughs> I heard a Gregor like doing. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I am pretty you upset do. about this. <laughs> I like Sims. Um, I see if you want to sound like a horse, you just do like a really, really quiet, sort of sadistic laugh, like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could hear that both ways. <laughs> I mean, it sounds sinister if you imagine it being a human, it just sounds like a horse. <laughs> yeah. A horse. <laughs> a horse. I used to call hers, hers, I used to say to him, hers. <laughs> he didn't like that, so I stopped it. Uh, do, uh, have we decided what we're going to do with that? Well, Senator will tell us he's the league admin, so I'm sure he knows the yeah. rules. I mean, I it's our, well... Hmm. Zal is probably not going to be that unhappy to replay that round because I mean it was still close, right? Mm-hmm. Love that. Sorry about this, folks. 
Yeah, I think we have to discard that one, yeah. So it's just another fresh start game then. So it's still 3 1 to Zalo. Alright, I'm just looking for the map map. Right. Mm, not sure I like this one. It's not too bad though. Isn't Senator biased in this specific instance? Well, that's. Well, no, he isn't, right? I mean, we're operating on trust on so many levels in this community that I think at this point we can just say that Senator is not biased because we know that he's been the TUS uh, mod for, for many years now. And he's just always made the right decision yeah, on everything. Agreed. So, you know. He's actually. He's probably been the best league moderator I've seen at handling situations like this. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like other other than a few others, like Mental, he was a really good moderator as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Kinos. <laughs> Are we going finally? Can we finish? <laughs> oh, so there was one turn that we didn't see. So, Zalo um, do. can you? I guess for the prediction, you'll have to... Uh, yeah, I'll just discard. delete it and all you the channel points go back. That's that's fine. I'll deal with that when this match starts. What is now uh, uh, the texture that you chose? Uh, this is desert now. It's a new one. Ah, Ooh. desert. Desert's another great terrain for B&G. Oh, yeah. I think ah, uh, it, it was just... It was the shape of the map that maybe that maybe go for desert because with with on a map like this oh yeah we're not oh the wrong first turn yeah the wrong first the wrong guys I feel good better <laughs> uh, do I give them a new map no, no just no. the same map they didn't even have a chance to get yeah. the feel that map. Right. Also, so it, it, it changes everything to see where the worms spawn, and the worms spawn differently every time anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I like this map. So Unsong yeah. says, still a difficult Hello. position to ask him to decide what happens with that game while he is the one playing. It's not necessarily him making a personal decision. It's, yeah, it's not just... It's things that have been set in stone over the course of the last 12 years now, I believe, because TUS has been around since, I think, fast longer than that, because it's been around since 2007... I think, what, I, in its first yeah. version, when it was the ultimate tournament, then oh, yeah, there yeah. was TUS 1 and then TUS 2, and now Monkey Island's working on TUS 3. Kind of. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not just Senator deciding here that he should he should get a draw on that round. Right? It's over 10 years of... of In just, fact, since 1999, yeah. really, Gregor, isn't it? Because we've been dealing with this issue uh, since then. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's so much continuity at this point that it's almost difficult to make completely the wrong decision on something like this because everyone's been making the same decision for so long. But we kind of know. Right? If, if, if he pulled some controversial move, everyone would know, right? Yeah. Now we are again back with girders and the less girders. Ah, this is a this is a pretty good positive girder though. It gives two of his worms away up and it contests the top that currently Zalo has control of. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'd just like to add he, he about I'd just like to add about that, Senator there. Uh, Ooh, I saw is. dynamite. He is generally widely accepted by everyone as being a great moderator, so if you do yeah. have any suggestions, though, you can go to the TUS website and post in the forums there, and I guarantee you they will listen to you if you come across with constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah. If, if anyone finds a better way of doing this, right, uh, we're going to listen. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Oh, fails to fit there because he opens to the left. Yeah, he opened up. He opened up there. Okay. Which is not ideal. I think dynamite is it, dynamite is in a funny way a double-edged sword. Uh, 
in the early game in Team 17 because it's such a good weapon to have and it's such a good weapon to hold on to because maybe you're going to get a full HP worm plop with it. But it's also uh, one of the first weapons that shows up when you when you put your worm onto the parachute, right? And so quite often you, you, you're going to be revealing it to your opponent. So if you don't use it on the turn that you get it, it's quite likely that your opponent's just going to know and be able to play around the time right, for the entire rest of the round. There are right. a few players who hide their weapons, of course. Yeah, <laughs> namely you. <laughs> I try as well, though, but I, I don't. I don't prioritize that that often. Sometimes I'll have some big weapon that I know I can't reveal, or or I'm gonna lose the round, and then then I pay a lot of attention to it, right? But even then, I get it wrong sometimes. Because using the parachute is actually very tricky. If you want to do optimal parachuting and optimal jumping in Team 17, where, where all the terrain, shapes, the terrain shapes are random and you can't memorize anything, right? Or at least not a lot. Uh, that takes away a lot of mental mm, <clears throat> effort, right? Uh, so I think doing that and also hiding your weapons is already on the verge of what some of us are even capable of at the same time. Oh, no, quante, quante puzzle, how many skunks? Yeah, a lot of skunks, yeah. This was a good one, though. Uh, he Nicely not only timed did that, Yeah, not did only did he have skunking, he also made this worm ploppable more easily, right? Using something like dynamite, because he wasn't before. Oh, yeah, he was pushing against the flower object, right? And, uh, this is a quality skunk. A quality skunk. <laughs> Oh, on the other hand, there's this. I think this is going to be a hundred. Oh, yeah, good call. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, so the, the way this map was at the very beginning of the round was that having control of the top right side was better than having control of the left side because there was access to the left but not access to the right. Th that girder that Senator used made it so that it's about even. And it made sense because two of his worms were on the left side, so... Ooh. Yeah, that was a long distance girder. Mm -hmm. And it is a So, um, Zalo has the one. bat, by the way. Ah, interesting. Senator has clusters. Yeah. Right, so they're at 3 1 now. We have to uh, disconnect, though. Sheep launcher. Also, I saw cluster bombs. Well, I already Ooh, is, there, is there a way he can get a cluster bomb kill on Trauma here? I want to say no. Only he with a sacrifice. sacrifice. Yeah, he could sacrifice, but that's just. So he um, frees his think, worm and uh, kills Trauma. Yeah. Wow. Uh, he does play around that though by jumping down there. He took a lot of fall damage though. He brought himself below 70. I mean, 270. But that's below 71 or 72. That time might could have gotten a lot less self damage there on the yeah, 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 yeah. Terry. Yeah, he almost hit Falteri more than he hit Zalo's worm. So basically, there one was... strategy to defeat Zalo is to not to let him collect it. Any crate because even with the handgun, it can kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, we, we saw a very good handgun in that first round. Was it the second one? Uh, where he went for the worm and then the barrel, and then the, the fire from the barrel explosion pushed the worm onto a mine as well. That was a lot of damage. Well, that was a rope turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh -huh. What? Oh, he, he got it. <laughs> yep, Zalo has an HHG now. Yeah, Zalo, Zalo has good crates for an island map where he can maybe get plops. Uh, Senator is usually quite mindful and doesn't play into that. Yeah. Whoa, is this where the cluster happens? I think it is. Could get maybe. Um, I think. I think he needs 60. to hide to the right though. It is not like uh, in um, in yeah, this could be a uh, normal no loops. Yeah. Oh, okay, scheme. Okay. Yeah, the cluster bombs in the scheme are also uh, two stars of power. Oh, good one. Uh, two stars. 
And yeah, about two stars. Because three star power cluster bombs actually can deal like a hundred damage. Not only did the sixty-seven damage it partially pitted him, but with this wind he can get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zalo, I think, also, also has cluster Zalo bombs. Also, Zalo has cluster bombs, yes. Yeah, yeah, Is I he just going to use well? the HHG to kill this worm that doesn't even need to be popped? I guess so. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. He, he's just trying to win the top at this point. I think this might yeah. just be the correct play. Yeah. Fire. The problem is, is Valtteri going to counter this by, by killing off this worm? Right? That, that would be the punishment. Ah. Yeah, and... We know that wow. Valtteri, I mean, the what, senator what, what doesn't have... I missed it. That was HHG. Uh, the yeah. senator only has nice. cluster bombs at this point. Hey, so Bafu. he would need a crate falling right next to him, which he doesn't get. Yeah. Or he could on the other hand, amnesio, yeah. though. He could just... Um, oh, sorry, Come on, then. Would a fire punch Hello. send him Where's down below or to the... Up above thing, you think? Um, I think it's I think it's close. Uh, I think he could go for I think he could go for just a uh, cluster bomb below this one though, and hope for some sort of pitting. Yeah, that could actually do the pitting. Yeah, it could. Yeah. I mean, on the other hand, it's difficult to make yourself trust cluster bombs because they so often end up doing yeah, not a lot. So, um, with that thickness of land between them, it probably wouldn't do much. Yeah, yeah, it's not that much. Hmm. So does he? He could have gone if he's if he. Oh oh oh! He has banana bomb have? now. Oh, interesting. I don't think he goes for the. Oh, that's interesting. We need mm -hmm. wind to use that girder. So if, if he had triggered that mine, does that open down to ghost? No, but if he knocked it, if he did yeah. a jump knock on the mine, it would be pretty hard. Very hard. Uh, I yeah, was that would be... reading what Zbafa was saying. Yes, he <laughs> heard me <laughs> because I complained about too uh, many skunks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boots. Oh, nice. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure whether that mine would have opened or not. Yeah, it's kind of close. I think maybe it doesn't open though. But uh, that's Come the thing, on, well, Se Senator, the Senator could have gone for something else on Goss, because he, he could have just thrown right yeah. and dropped something yeah. next to God. And now Goss has to move, at least. Oh, oh the mine does just barely open. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Senator got great win this turn. He got just the win he needs. I think maybe he goes for the banana now. Because if he just explode gas, get away from the explosion, he maybe opens up to Saku. Wind. And he also takes control of, well, the middle oh, of the map. Not quite. Ah, that's not going to reach. So probably this is just the banana then from below. Yeah, I think he's going to go for the Nana. It's a tricky one, though. This could backfire. Yeah. Easily. If he gets it I just right with a one second banana standing back a bit further to the left. Oh, he doesn't get the good news. No. No. I could still learn. Oh, no. Typical. Well, I think even with. Even with, with even with where the banana bomb landed, he could have still gotten the kill because the, the terrain that remained intact next to Gast is quite thin. He only needed to open that up, and then either <laughs> Gast clops or oh. other banana clusters yeah, hit him. Right? Who's the author of the 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 worst shot ever thing? Originally, that was Run, so Run for Your Life, the, the very old school player from the WWW clan. Uh, but later on, it. It was a combination of Lacoste and Dark One that uh, right. took over the Warshot Ever duties. I mean, that wasn't actually a Warshot Ever, though. He, he was just marginally unlucky. Probably no, the not. safe play. That was the, terrible. And, and the play. <laughs> that was really I mean, terrible. You're being, you're was, being too nice there. It was for him. <laughs> yeah, there's also... Um, I mean, it's pretty common to mess up bananas like that. You need a really special yeah, mess yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, though he is like I'm surprised at that because Senator's really, really good. 
I think what I'm surprised that there is that he went for the banana <laughs> bomb. Yeah. He saw, he saw that he saw that he had not a lot of time left to decide. And uh, usually the the standard play that you expect from a senator there is he just gather blocks or teleports away or makes himself a gutter or yeah. does some more passive play. But in this instance, he decided that actually I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Okay. And that is, by the way, a super crate. If he had done a girder in order to get the super crate. Oh, he, interesting. Oh, he could have done well, that. on the other Wh hand, is one, the, one, ever gonna be? The, the one that he was trying to jump up to? Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, uh, Zalo is not that likely to uh, to be going for a steal on this crate down there, because then he's just vulnerable, right? Uh, so maybe it's going to be Sako somehow picking that worm up, or Ollie on the next turn or something. Oh, wow, three crates over there. Yeah, he's gonna take a few turns to get to them, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hiding okay. there. Oh, it's fine. Oh, he is dynamite poppable now. Uh, is there oh. not a dynamite? Okay. Actually, um... Yeah, I think he is. Okay. Yeah, I think he should be. Yeah, almost for sure. Bad, bad. I really want to see Senator win this round at least because uh, so far I think I think he's made plays that he's going to be quite unhappy with. Uh, I think I think he needs to redeem himself to a degree. Have you put up a prediction? Oh, he got I, up there. Nice I'll, I'll put it to one minute now because I forgot. I thought I had already done that. I apologize. Predictions are live. You've only got one minute though to make your prediction. Hey. Since we're so far I, in. I predict a Zalo drop. <laughs> oh, that's not okay. That's um, just... Senator, drop Senator has a... Um, well, he got a girder pack. Oh, interesting. Ooh. That's his favorite thing. At least my least favorite thing for him to get against me. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, this is another round where Zalo Zalo is being afforded the opportunity of playing quite riskily and not even caring about piling his worms together that much. And and the reason that's happening is because because Senator is just a little bit too passive. He's he's letting his worms stay blocked without without any upside. Right? He's he's not sacrificing. Uh, one thing to to get something else that's good. He's just not doing much, right? And uh, that's not that's not how you want to be playing Team Seventeen. And he knows that, right? He's one of the best players, and maybe the best Team Seventeen player of recent years. That I think he's going to be unhappy with that for for this reason. Because it is G. Oh, that's a good one. I think he can even get up to the right here. Oh, sorry, he, I missed he, he, he could have. I missed that yeah. there. Did, did Senator pick up the special crate? Yeah, it was a girder pack. Ah, girder yeah, pack, yeah, right. Yeah. What did he get? A girder pack. Girder starter pack. Ah, uh, okay. More girders, your favorite. <laughs> bah. Bah. This is not a Team 17, this is a it girder shopper. It could be shopper. useful for him at this point in the game. Well, not, I, I, I don't mean right now, I mean... I like that. <laughs> Normally, I'd be pretty upset with someone calling T17 Girder Shopper, but I think I'm gonna allow it. <laughs> I invented a new scheme, Girder Shopper. Girder Shopper. You've just invented a new scheme, so that'll be the yeah. next thing, and then there'll be a czar version of no, that the no, following day. No, no, please, no, the use of Girder's pasta. You don't want to see it. Ciao, Chico, Chico, this is going to be your next cup on T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> See, yes, yeah, of Gerdor course. Shopper. A Girder shopper. Oh, I kill oh. everyone with girders, yeah. don't know how, but, but, but so the I'm looking forward to seeing the custom medals of the Girder I shopper. Think, I think yeah, Zala's going to A gold girder, a bronze girder, a silver girder. <laughs> uh, I think maybe Zala is going to decide to rope this turn. Because he has the HAG, and he can get a plop on Saka using that. I predict a girder oh, now. <laughs> it's taking too long now. I guess he's not going for it then. 
Yeah, instead of putting uh, in my next challenge, Zalo... uh, actually, yeah, on you go. Uh, no, I was, uh, uh, yeah, of course. Um, in my next challenge, uh, people asked me, Can you put a girl there? I was <laughs> like, there, there is the long bow already. You don't need a girl. <laughs> Come on. I mean, that's kind of true. That, that's what happened in, in the actual shopper scheme is that girders at some point got taken out of the crates and you could still use longbows to block worms right but then later on people people figure out that blocks just weren't fun and they mm -hmm. they made a rule that even if you get a longbow in shopper you can't use it to block worms also okay, so that's Zalo, to say. As, uh, as, as good as Zalo is strategically and mechanically with ground stuff he is a little bit he's, he's, he's not a noob with rope but he's far from being yeah. a pro so oh, that is yeah. one of his weaker areas uh, as yeah. opposed to Senator who can fly around the map with, with much more ease yeah Senator is probably my favourite Team 17 roper if that's a thing that exists because he's fast he's yeah. very fast but he's also very safe and he very rarely messes up much more rarely than I do so, By the more way, was, How many uh, did you have left, like, David? Uh, 1,000, because it's, they, they never end. <laughs> By oh, the way, I was gonna... thinking that a yeah, uh, sort of a girder shopper uh, a scheme already exists. Triple guard. Because, because t but when I was in uh, uh, January <laughs> 2021, I I met a guy on, the, on Wormnet <laughs> named Team Bikelis. And he showed me like uh, uh, it's called the Fort Architects, a scheme oh, where yeah, actually yeah. I'm very good because I'm the only one who plays it actually. Yeah, and, you're the best. <laughs> just a and, fool. Uh, You've just <laughs> and yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you had to stop. Sorry, on you go. Sorry. This is the no, scheme, no, no. this is the scheme that uh, you build your own fort, right? And then you yes. play fort using your fort and that I, you just I, built I, yourself. I'm very good in that scheme because no one wants to play it, so I'm the only one yeah, I, I who actually has an interest in that. So I'm pr I can say that I'm pro in that because I'm the only one. And, I'm laughing. And actually, and actually, you keep collecting girders over and over again until a handgun magically appears you know, after ten turns, and it becomes the most important weapon in like, the whole game. It's so so Senator intentionally waited out sudden death there, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. The problem now is Zalo has so much control of the top of this map that like, blocking one of his worms off is not even good enough. It's not enough to come out and play, right, for, for Senator's worms. But maybe. We'll see. So this is going to be a bungee probably. Yeah. Can you reach the other crate? I don't think you can. The I think he's just gonna. Okay, wants to come back actually oh, without can, losing. Get the back up. It depends on what he got. What did he get? Uh, oh, Luke? well, he has another ATG now. I, I don't know if that was what he just collected, but. No, I think he, he has the ATG from before. Old woman, um, petrol bomb. I mean, he used the first HHG, so. Oh, right, yeah. Yes. Wait. But yeah, he has old women, HHG, petrol bomb, bat, bine, Uzi, and clusters. Right, so does does Senator teleport uh, next to Panic now or not? Because if Zalo doesn't get Blue Wind, his he he doesn't have a way of getting to the other side. So this could be a body block on Panic now, even though Amnesia is next. Right? The yeah, problem with that is actually. something like HAG can maybe plop Saku if it's there. Yeah, that's, that's well, it dep depends on where he teleports to. Though. Right, so he's so going for this. Fire punches and gear there's fire punches and gear there. I mean, she. she... <laughs> yep. See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. sure. It's, it's cool, so... I think read. I would have preferred the teleport. I think I would have preferred mm -hmm. the teleport out there just to. 
you every every turn you do this, you're risking Zalo getting the win. And then with strong enough red wing, he can get all the way there. And then you die to his HHG, right? Or you die to a banana bomb, or you die to Salvation Army. Even maybe die to dynamite. Maybe. No, not dynamite. Oh, you, oh, him you, should, you should try. Oh, you should try. Oh, this is interesting. If he can walk far enough to the right to not leave a single pixel of that girder, this opens up. Uh, he's going to end up Come hitting on. Gast, though. And when he does that, Gast is likely to knock him, and then maybe there's going to be some sort of pile. Ah! So instead... Uh, he only has two girders left now, though, right? Well, only one now. Oh, only one, yeah. Okay. Another uh, one? Did I miss another girder? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, do you think Senator is keeping keeping track of how many girders are left? I want to say yes, because it's not that difficult. Yeah. He knows how many he's used, right? That's that's his forte. Yeah. I'm not sure he would admit that, though. We all think that about <laughs> him. Would he, would he actually admit it? Oh, the interesting thing now is Saku can't just fire punch up and free himself. Oh, well, so this happens now, and it's Ghast next. Yeah, I mean, at, at some point, Senator was going to have to go for this. He does have a rope advantage now. Or does Zalov still have his rope? Yeah. Uh, pay attention rope. They... to not to drop. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Still have the rope. Come on! And um, Senator still hasn't used his girder pack. No, no, oh. no, no, please. No, don't want to see that. Huh? <laughs> no, I, I leave. <laughs> well, but, but, think, but think of it this way. Zalo has been the one girdering throughout this round, and this is now going to be poetic justice, right? If, if Senator girder packs him right back. And I think this is, this is going to be one of those game-winning girder starter packs, even though it's going to probably happen on the next turn. It could happen on this turn, though. Yeah, Saku is not the ideal worm for it, indeed. Yeah. He doesn't. He I mean, can't. He can't block Ghast. He he could just go down to uh, below where Oli and Amnesia are. Yeah, he, he could do that, but then he loses. He, well, yeah. his yeah, okay. mobility that he has up there. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not even that much mobility, though. He still needs wind, right, to even get to the right side. And he needs wind to get to the no. left side. Why do you think it's... he didn't blow no, torch? No, no, oh. no, 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 another lag. Lags again, he oh. says. No, oh, no, no. no, it's not possible. Are you joking? Not again. No, Come on. No, no. <sighs> more girders, oh. even more girders to see. No, oh. but, but, Guys, is this possible? Honestly, uh, I don't want to, to say anything, but every time there is a problem, I, I, so. Sorry, what? Well, it's not the game's fault. Yeah. Stop blaming the game. The <laughs> okay, time. maybe the game's fault for not yet supporting your Zoom Nah, I guess I'm going back to look for a new map then. Okay, let me see how many girders as uh four five sette. Ma no, otto su uno, tre. Oh, you say set. We we could come up with a new rule on the spot and, and have the girders carry out carry over from the previous round. So they only have seven if if it's a draw, right? Right yes, back. seven, vabbè. <laughs> seven uh, times seven. <laughs> Forty nine. They haven't used all of them all the rounds, though. That uh, is... <clears throat> this is truly this unfortunate. Happened. Sorry to everybody there. Yeah, I mean, clear, clearly this is just the problem with Zalo's connection, right? Because even before we started, uh, he took longer just because his connection was, was doing weird things and... Uh, now it's every time him disconnecting. So as long as as long as it happens on rounds that are even or rounds that are in favor of him, we know that we can pretty safely just restart them. It's not ideal, but you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so you have to be AFK for a while because it's very late now for me. All right, okay. Being a, a bit a bit AFK. 
Ahí es que... Uh, I keep finding me match for the entire... Maybe we should have a rule in the future if someone drops a certain amount of times they either lose a round or something because that Zalo caused this three times now. That's not me saying Boy. that's that's not me saying that it should be yeah, punished. It should now. It's more that you should accept the risk of Well, you know what I mean, but since since it's there's no like proper prize, it's not that big a deal. Well, yeah, but also it's very anticlimactic to yes. just see someone be awarded a win in a yes. round where nothing happened. Yeah, Wait, so, so maybe similar... we're not... Yeah, this... maybe we're not even going to be finishing this final tonight then. Which is not all bad, because maybe next time they actually finish this final, Zalos connection is going to be more stable, right? That was a really good game as well. I was looking forward to the outcome. Yeah, that was a good one. And Zalos says he had good weapons, right? So I've returned the channel points again. I'm going to wait two turns. I'm going to put the prediction... In fact, I'm just going to put the prediction on now for 10 minutes because I need to go AFK. Yeah, and I think... Uh it's already midnight or almost midnight where senator is so he's saying he's got time for another round that's that's not a good that's not a good mental state to be in though where you know that the only way this final finishes tonight is if you lose the next round unsung that's genius unsung said maybe he should rename to stay in zalo because gone zalo clearly doesn't work <laughs> yes Beautiful. i can you should, you should ban him from Twitch chat for that one. <laughs> right, I'll be back soon. No. Can you scroll the view 35 pixels to the left? Can you? I guess you have already, because the map looks pretty centered to me. Hello. Indeed, KRD, I don't mess around. <laughs> Right, so Gonzalo actually had that fire punch onto a mine early on. How much difference does this make for this round? Yes, sir. Are you still there, David, by the way? Guess not. Maybe I'm alone now. Alright, so... For the time being, we don't know which weapons they have, except for this holy hand grenade that Zalo has, which I think is good, but it's also slightly risky. Because he's going to be making a big hole below Valtteri here. Uh, both his worm, the current one, and Trauma are potentially in trouble for plopping to it as well. Ooh, he didn't get the plop. Yeah, this was pretty, pretty lucky for Senator, because I think there were more positions for that holy hand grenade to, to come to a stop where Valtteri drowns than there were ones where he doesn't. On the other hand, Zalo, Zalo is 3-1 ahead still, so he can afford to play more, like, more riskily. I think this was the sort of play that can't even win him the round. He didn't get it, though. Uh, this is an interesting fire punch. It, it's not impossible that this could plop the trauma worm. And it's not even that risky to go for because Volteri has mm. already tanked one. The only weapon that it. Senator has at this point is mine. Yeah, yeah. This round had only just started. Oh, wow. Ooh, very nice. It. That was amazing. I think that, that that was the sort of move that looks risky because you stay down there and you don't teleport your worm up, but... Uh, he made himself um, Dragon Ball poppable. Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, if, if Zalo goes for that, there's another one of his worms that's potentially poppable, right? Uh, in retaliation. So, is this a game that Zalo wants to be playing? I think maybe the answer to that is no. He's gonna go for it though. He could also get unlucky here and not get the plop. Because the backflip instead of a back jump. Right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh he got How it. How do we got it with a back jump? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think I would have probably gone for the back jump as well there. It was close. I, I see right. why you did it. With the back flip, you might um, just slide onto the land. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or he could overshoot, right? And, and the worm gets stuck in that cranny to the left of the opening. Uh, so what's Senator doing now? He's using this worm. No, hello. Ooh, he's going for the rope. This is a very unsenator like play. But looks like he wants to plop and panic. He's gonna have he's to. He's got a sheep panic. now, um, so. Yeah. He, yeah. So the he, sheep does it. Where does he hide, though? Oh, even the. Oh, mine he already does knew it. he had a mine. That's why he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm back. Where is he hiding, though? Oh, so that was, that that was a good hide there. As well. Ooh. That was a pretty good hide. Okay. He is maybe uh, prodigal, though. Is it prodigal? I think it might be. This is the sort of play that, that could win Zalo this final. Just go for the prod now. Get it. Oh, he's not going for it. I don't Ooh, think it's possible. Oh, nice. oh. Okay. This is R. Zalo is not that far behind uh, in this round. I think he has made one error this round, though, which Senator is going to be glad to see, because Zalo has not been making many mistakes. Oh, you're right. The prod is a pop. Oh, there you go. Ah, it must have been very close, though. It wasn't even what? close. It was um, it was very poppy. Oh, well. Good, good there so far. Uh, the, the danger area with the plop was uh, that soil texture there where you can't quite, at least I can't, I can't quite see where the terrain is or what shape it is. No, 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 uh, not in water. Let me go ahead. Is this just going to be a girder on amnesia? I guess. No, no, no. I, 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 Please. <laughs> this is a, a very senator like play. Gilderless huh? terrain. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, I like, kind of had to go for that, though. The reason he had to go for that, though, is because he specifically wants Sako to survive as long as possible. Yeah. Sako is his advantage in this round. The longer, the longer nothing else happens, and uh, the other, and Sako stays alive, the longer he has. This mobility advantage, and and he can he can more bravely go for crates uh, with that low HP worm, right? So so keeping the worm alive has a lot of value. Yeah, That's a good bungee. Nice. Sometimes when I do these oh, uh, bungee rope. tricks, uh, I move on my chair because I <laughs> like the worm. <laughs> so he has bazooka, sheep launcher, clusters, battle axe. I think he's gonna go for the bazooka. Hmm, wow. Maybe the sheep launcher, because he's running out of time a little bit. He's got a... Well, let's see. Yes, I think sheep launcher, maybe. Ah, uh, Bazooka does it as well. Happy attention. Uh, wow. Very nice. Better to use the weaker weapon if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is yeah. better. That barrel being there was useful. By the way, we Italian players, uh, the... Um, Okay, we have like uh, um, a proverb which says "my my lesinare." It means never spare, uh, never save. Uh, for example, a dynamite because maybe with a mine you think that you can plop the worm instead. It was not enough. And yeah, yeah. And sometimes. What's happening? What's my lesson? Oh, this came. round is progressing very quickly. We've seen the ninja rope come out first by Senator and then uh, uh -huh. as a counter from Zala as well. They each got a, a full HP worm kill using it. Uh, Senator right. used a mine and plopped the worm in the middle there. Uh, Zala just uh -huh. roped down to the bottom left and used the bazooka to drown the worm. Right. Uh, I think Senator is a turn ahead now, though, because uh, he was the first one. If Zalo's worm blocked off there, he was the first one to be able to just teleport his worm up top. And now, I feel like a lot of crates are going to be landing up top on this map, and not so many on the sides, hopefully. So uh, that is maybe going to give Senator the opportunity now to, to get ahead in terms of material, right? So just have more weapons. Right. So he got the jump up. That's good. Ooh, he's going for the crate pass. No, he has a minigun, so it's probably his plan, yeah. right? 
Yeah, yeah, probably. Can you get the crate first, though? I think you can. He yeah, has to clear you. Yeah, time. Yeah, uh, he's gonna have to clear you. Nice one. Alright, yeah. Uh, Good job. A friend of mine uh, who is watching the streaming uh, told me on Discord I wanted to see Girder starter pack. Yes, of course. I, <laughs> I did it as well. Honestly, I did as well. I, I think the Girder starter pack could have won Senator. Good damage there from Sala, Senator. Sala didn't know who had it. Mm, yeah. Oh, this was a good minigun to have here. You could have used it from even closer than that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the, the difference between getting 94 and 100 damage there is not that relevant, though. 100 is the max, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, not really, because you can get fall, fall damage. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's, there's actually some very cool ways in which you can get fall damage using minigun by shooting the worms up into the air. Uh, that's the sort of play that most players don't go for, though. Yeah, so again, Zalo is electing not to play around things like Banana Bomb. It has been working out for him just fine, though, so... <laughs> Right here, him. a banana bomb just ends him. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. What does Senator actually have? Ah, uh, Michael. Well, like, uh... uh, well, he maintains the body block. Maintaining the body block is important here, because even if Gus goes for Saku now, yes. which I think is going to be happening, uh, he's still damaging Amnesia. Oh, he's just going for a little Why bit of Why do you think he didn't go for a tighter body block? Well, maybe it saves him from s oh, some low amount of damage. damage. Less low yeah. charge damage. Ah, yeah. okay. oh, but it Whoa. didn't. It did not. Yeah, it kind of didn't, yeah. Well, the argument could be made that it, it's saving uh, from some. Okay. It's saving from maybe six. But how the body block would be interesting though in terms of uh, Zalo going for his other worm and attacking the pile, right? Then maybe it's better. Oh, he does also have Uzi. So if he had gotten a, a full hundred with the minigun, he could have finished the worm off with just the Uzi. That was the reason to go for a full full. 100 on the minigun. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this round is just suddenly became very fast, and uh, it's gonna be decided, I feel like, in the next few turns. Maybe two or three. And it's maybe gonna come down to wind, because if on the next turn uh, Ollie gets strong red wind, he can just make it all the way there, pick up two or three crates, maybe just go for all five crates there, right, and get something that kills off this one. So I think, uh, strategically, Senator played this round well, even though I think one of his turns was a mistake. Remind me he which one? Well, I think he could have done maybe the rope turn with his uh, stuck worm in the bottom left, right? And okay. if he goes for that, he not only gets his rope turn and picks up crates, he also saves that worm from the counter. Oh, nice wind. Yeah. yeah. Will he get oh, anything? He got the wind. Oh, he has another minigun. He has napalm. The oh, minigun is good. He's I not going for the point, other crates. Yeah, I, I think at this point, Senator has just have to decide that uh, Zala doesn't have something big that's going to explode. He has to stand him. kind of far away to use the minigun there, which is obviously Yeah, so maybe he goes for at something least, else. Maybe he does a blowtorch and a tight body Yeah, Yeah, yeah that, that, that's just what I was going to suggest. Just go for the blowtorch first, go for a tight body block. At, at worst, you draw, right? Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on, Senator. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's but going he for this first. But he wouldn't uh, uh, well, definitely go Definitely sacrifices uh, a lot yeah, of damage no, no. there, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is still fine. Now goes off to hide, there's um, fewer hiding places that are safe for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ollie just takes the best hide on this map now, right? Uh, yeah, oh, no. uh, yeah, of course. And he has napalm, so he knows that even if he just keeps girdering this round, even if he's just girding himself, eventually Gas is going to be so low on HP that napalm is going to kill him. 
So and they both used their ropes. So yeah, I mean, he could just if he had gotten the wind, he could have used napalm now and be uh, yeah. yeah, pretty secure. Yeah, uh, a map like this has a lot of a lot of heights that you can use, but but the way the round played out is that like none of them are that amazing against exactly napalm. That's so what he's he gonna has. try to get three crates. You know. Yeah, he could go for the crates, right? Oh wow! He also doesn't he change his mind. He doesn't even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't even. Hey. I think the reason to be picking up crates here this round is to take them away from Zalo. Uh, well, if he well, doesn't I mean, collect those crates, that means that no more yeah. crates will fall, which Zalo could collect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then Zalo, if he wants to go for any crates, he needs to go for those crates, and then he can't be attacking on the same turn then, unless he gets some sort of extra. Yes. That is the danger, though. Like, this turn, probably, uh, Zalo is just going to go there to make himself a way up. Uh, on the next turn, he can go for a lot of crates if Senator doesn't pick them up. And if he goes for a lot of crates, he can get something that kills Zalo on the same, on the same turn. Pay right? attention. Oh, okay. It's fine. So he doesn't have much time to collect, but he could get something still. I mean, he could get a banana bomb. There's no super crates in there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to be picking up any crates this, this turn. Then. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so no, it's a fourth game, praticamente. So. How is he going to hide against air strikes? It's basically a, it's a fourth right. game now. <laughs> I think I think if it gets medium red wind, wind? he just goes. Oh, nice uh, wind! That'll do. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is napalm wind. This has got to be napalm wind. Go for the crates first, though, just in case. Yeah, he could win right now. Yeah, I think he he's gonna go for it eventually. Even though S Senator's usual play style is just wait sudden death and then do the guaranteed napalm red. I want him to use so, the napalm now. It is possible now. for him to escape from a napalm there to the uh, under the alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could, yeah. I think this is, this is what funny. Come on, give us another game. Oh, oh yeah. he escaped in the other direction, wow. Yeah, the wind yeah. wasn't strong enough. I mean, it, it could have worked, right? It yeah. could have worked anyway. Oh, it's a shame. Uh, also, this does maybe ruin Zala's way up, or at least it makes it more pixely, right? And that's annoying. He got mm, very really strong wind. So no. Yeah. Yo, can you let Dead Code know we're done with our games now and there's a space in the Warzone stack? I don't know what that is, but do you? Uh, no, I have no idea that. what that was. Who said that? Uh, big old chubbers. Oh, of course. Uh, no idea. Maybe just an invite to a game or something, I, I don't know. No idea. Oh yeah, Warzone. Warzone is, I think, a shooter game. Yeah. What you doing? That's it's probably because David, David, Royale, David made right. an impression. David made an impression on a Twitch viewer, and he's apparently just good enough and smart enough to, to get invited. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what oh, I'm gonna oh, say. Oh, thanks. I'm flattered, but I, I don't really have an, an interest. <laughs> Literally doesn't know that Warzone is a game. I, I wasn't actually even thinking is that a game. I didn't like. I wasn't. Uh. Yeah. So what did Senator just get from that crate? Anything juicy? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, prod. <laughs> it's not a prod. That's the one thing it can't be. Yeah, it was oh. something. No. Uh, see? Is uh, that it's like a homing. Concrete donkey? No. Uh, okay. It's just a homing. Uh, I think it's going to get a lot of damage there, but it's probably fine. No, just. Tickle. Makes it possible for him to kill if he gets something else, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I think Senator Keep is way ahead. Senator does round. have another napalm. Nice. Oh, wow. Well, he, he must have just gotten that. That's why he went for the. That's why he went for the uh, homing, right? Just to open it up and and destroy the one good an anti napalm napalm hide on on that side of the map. Yeah, keep the pressure on. I mean, there's there's still donkey stuff that Zala could get this turn. 
I mean, at this point, Gonzalo not... should go down and get those other two yeah, crates. Yeah. Why is he not? He, he, why is he taking all that? Yeah, he doesn't have yeah, anything yeah, to yeah. kill right now. He should oh. just go down there. Ooh. Yeah, he just mm -hmm. took, took okay. a little too long to decide there. Now it's unclear if he has enough time to get the other crate. It could bungee down from there. Okay. Just barely enough time, I think. Oh, he, oh, he didn't. He could have gotten that. He yeah, he could have got yeah. that, I think. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he also knew that something that was going to be happening, right? And you don't want to get stuck down below there. How long have you guys been playing Worms Armageddon for? I myself started around June 1999. Wow. Yeah, you have yeah, a little was... bit of time on me. I only started in um, October 2000. I think Chicken started closer to March or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I did. there was something like I did play the, the demo before this, but I don't really yeah. count that because it wasn't online. Right, yeah. yeah. So I, you I got to some... experience the built-in ranks. Yes, yeah, I did, achieved yeah, yeah. Elite and got my Fiery Flame Bar. Fiery Flame Bar. <laughs> yeah, I did also play a little bit of Worms 2 online before I played Armageddon. I think that would have been not in 1997, but in 1990. The eight probably. So the the year before Worms Armageddon got released, because I did I did get Worms two on release, and not only for myself but for a couple of my friends as well. So we were quite obsessed with it by that point already. You know, see when ranks went down, I didn't even realize at the time how much of an impact that would have on the yeah. game. Because I, for me, it was like, oh, ranks. there's no ranks now. Okay, but we can yeah, still yeah. play. Okay. That's how I yeah, feel. Yeah, I, I think I think the reason that happened was that even when rank, or even when the official rankings were still up and operational, the Wormnet community had already shifted somewhat towards playing schemes like Warmer was huge, obviously, and then Team Seventeen, but not ranked and uh, Elite as well. Right? Uh, you didn't you yeah. didn't have to play ranked games, and Roper Roper was a huge one as well, where. Uh, you would, for the most part, most Roper games were played not in competition, but just among among friends, right? And, and we would chat and, and have fun and play and rope around, right? Uh, of course, the Roper that became popular is one that could not have been enforced by the game. That uh, right? Yeah, yeah. There yeah. were rules. Yeah. Yeah, and by then, like we knew those rules even even before Worms Armageddon uh, existed, right? Because Worms two players had been playing using those rules or similar rules for for at least two years by then. I want to say they also invented rope race on Worms two, even though the maps looked slightly different then, and there were more just tunnels dug into terrain as opposed to actually thin walls, right? Right, so can Zalo get all the way up there now? I think he needs a very slight red wing to get all the way up, right? And that's the only way? Um... Yeah. He gets strong red wing instead. Yeah, I, I think this is too strong. But let's find out. Because, I mean, if Senator loses this round as well, then he's going to be... Oh, he can get up. Is this backflip doable? I think it yeah, is. I, I was... Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. Well, so he's got to hurry up. Man. He's got to find something, I think, on this turn. Uh, oh, yeah, he does fit there. Yeah, I thought he did. Old woman. So, um, right. he has a napalm. Petrol bombs. Well, so we, we can pretty much ascertain at this point that Senator is playing for the Napalm win. Zalo is hiding from Airstrike sensibly enough. Yeah, so I think the, the reason that... Uh, the reason to be going for more now by, by Senator is... Uh, 
his airstrike is not that likely to finish this round off now because Zalo is he saw that Zalo is playing around it so I think that's maybe a reason to to start going up and and making himself way up where if he gets blue win he can finish the club. That's a that's a nice job. No, I think he, he only needs that. one girder in order to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, if he gets enough wind, of course. But he's not he's not going to create that girder. He's well, yeah, but the danger instead. here is he, he has to hurry up because because Zalo at some point is going to go for a uh, yolo turn. Right? Oh, don't jump to that mine. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Oh, oh, yeah, he's just trying to get the crate. Ah, it's so close! <laughs> whoa, oh, nice. whoa, 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 bravo! Yeah, he got it. I mean, oh. I'm still not a fan, not a fan of this this place now, though. I, I think he needs to be m focusing more on on just f closing. Is this, is this not over and, yet? Yeah, somehow it's not. Papa's got a brand new bag. So what was that, Craig? Uh, nothing important. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is more dangerous than Senator needs to make this round. Because, like, at this point, he's the only one losing HP. So, if there's any cutoffs uh, that he was waiting for, they've already happened. Um, right? Zala is a nice chain from here on out. And so now, Senator is the only one where maybe he drops low enough HP-wise that Zala can finish him off in a single turn. That would be very upsetting, though, because this round, I feel like the Senator had it won a few times already. Hopefully, he doesn't get punished and we so get really, to see on this happens. turn, he should create his girder that would give him a way all the way to the yeah. left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, uh, what that also does is, if Zalo wants to counter that girder with uh, another girder of his own, right, he's going to have to come out, probably. Right. And then the napalm finishes him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe I that's mean, also yeah. easy. He, he could also uh, block himself completely in, uh, but then yeah, yeah. he'd have a time limit of water rise. Oh, that's a strange decision. But well, yeah, also, I mean, Zalo could get just an aqua sheep, right, and plop him from, from below here. He's, he's exactly. risking too much here. Yeah. Yes, sir. He oh. is, uh, in a Zalo way, could controlling... Get, could steal that crate from... He could get... Um... Yeah, he should have well, started I, He can only get three crates, here. really. Um, he can, <laughs> I mean, two crates. He can only get two crates. Yeah, probably two, yeah. I mean, those two crates could be a banana bomb or a donkey, so... I think they're both playing this round too tentatively. I'm not surprised, yeah. though. It's an important round. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so Zalo is just completely focused on playing around airstrikes now, because he saw... I think he saw the way Senator played this round, and he recognized that he's waiting, but there's no... Okay, no so Gonzalo... Gonzalo Wait. might be able to win this because that is a super crate. Ooh. Well, no. but Senator finally got blue wind. Is Come he on, Senator. He, can go for he didn't make himself a girder. So well, all I could do is collect crates. And he's not even he going for that. Well, but yeah, that's what I mean. He, he could go for crates here. He could go for three See, crates here. See, that was him. Not okay, even there he goes. Not even knowing that's a special crate. If I couldn't attack him, I would actually use B and G skills to blow up that crate with yeah, the cluster. That, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, it's a hard shot, though. No, well, RNG, yeah. Yeah. He could just use his homing missile, but he might be holding the homing missile as a, a kill final uh, kill. Weapon. If he has homing missile, he can probably win next turn, right? right. That's what he's going for uh, as well. I think. Three seconds. Oh, what yeah, a beautiful pretty good oh. shot, but he misses. Oh, that was yeah, so he, close he, he that he had three seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was so good. this could be anything. It could be Donkey, it could be Armageddon, French Sheep Not Strike. All. No, oh, no, Senator. <laughs> What's, what's, I mean, uh, there's not there's not that many there's not that many super weapons that just kill him here. Something like scales of justice would be weird though. Is it oh, gonna be donkey? Like, no <laughs> oh my god, what is it? Like, oh my god, he wins. Um Donkey? <laughs> you are kidding me. Mother it's wrong, you know. I don't know.
Eh okay, vabbè ragazzi, vabbè. No words. I got you. Wow. Congratulations. We are the winners. That's what happens. Yes. Well, this was exactly the reason not to play this round the way that said it just to. Mado. Io non ho parole. <laughs> Yeah, good games. Yeah, that was good. It was 4-1, but we played seven rounds anyway, right? With the draft rounds. Even more. I think it was eight. Mm, more. More because uh, he dropped uh, three times. And... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't remember. I, I cannot do so much now. <laughs> yeah, it was five <laughs> rounds between the draft. <laughs> Ai ai ai. Eh, vabbè. Right, um... Ok, I think... I will exit that. here. Yeah, I exit as well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um... Those were very fun games. Mm. Right, yeah, so Sanitan is actually pointing out the homie missile from below. I'm gonna reply to him. Well, I'll tell you what more. An, an intense use of girders and completed with a, a concrete donkey. Wow. So. I wasn't, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that end. As soon as, yeah. as soon as Dead Code said that's a special crate, I, I immediately <laughs> just got a feeling I was like, sorry, Senator. I think he could have been a lot more aggressive, and if, if he had yeah. he had the right idea with that cluster, if he had used a three second instead of a four, that might have worked. Or if the clusters had just come out to the right instead of the left. Yes. That's the excitement of Team 17 though. And Gonzalo did earn his victory, I do feel that overall. Gonzalo, I feel like he played better with specific aggressive ideas. Senator did have his chances though. So that'll wrap things up for season 29. We have season 30, which is also team 17, so how long is that actually? I'm just going to have a look to see... Where is it? Where is it? Uh, basic, is it that? Where's the part? Ah, there it is. Seasons information. Well, so thank T you. Mm -hmm. T TRL, we are on the 20th. In fact, you know what? I'm going to bring that over here. So as you can see here, we are in the 29th day of season 30. 218 singles have been played by 23 players so far. We have 31 days, 8 hours, 36 minutes and a few seconds left. And there's a history of the different schemes that have been used each season. TUS TRL does stand for TUS Rotated League. So in TUS there are three leagues challenges, cups and tournaments, those are the main statistically recorded events that have, three of them are leagues, which is all round league, which is the most popular competitive schemes that are played, then there is TFL, which is TUS Free League, which is the more miscellaneous schemes that are still popular, just not as popular as the mainstream and then you've got TUS Rotated League which is was always a way to try out new schemes, variations of schemes, that was sort of one of the, the main ideas there. Another part of it is just a 
draft scheme that was really popular and people wanted to play that scheme for a season and focus on that. So that's the the results there over the years. If you feel free, you can always go to www.tus-wa.com slash leaks slash seasons dash info and it'll tell you the the information about which leagues are currently up and running etc and you can get your cups over here tournaments as well there's no tournaments because the way tournaments work is people meet at a certain time on a certain day they sign up and it's played and finished all at the one time it can go on for a bit longer but generally speaking it's a in the moment kind of event cups on the other hand people sign up they get paired into groups they play their games and then they get put into a knockoff bracket challenges are just various like player created challenges uh, some of them are rope race you've got the what, what's the, the tcb i can't remember the challenge base there's lots of exciting challenges and it would take a little while on its own to explain what all that is but yeah you can compete for world records there uh there's 780 challenges currently there you get the, the only difference between ongoing and expired and challenges is that ongoing if you complete if, if if you participate in the challenge where it's active you can get an extra five points for doing it once it's expired you can still get the number one spot spot but you don't get those extra five points that's really the only difference um plus you can you, you can look at who actually was there to compete at the time so yeah you can check out that if you're interested Challenges are fun, especially low gravity battle race challenges, where I, by five minutes, beat that goat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was that was actually Pardon a me? fun one. Oh, the, the LG. Yeah, the, the LG battle race one. I mean, I, I think eventually you're gonna get a better time than me, and then maybe I'm gonna be able to get back to that challenge. I've had enough of it for now, though. Yeah. I think R I did. Like 250 attempts of, of that single map. Right, so um, I don't actually have enough time because of all the disconnects and stuff to stay around yeah. and do some TA just now. We could do it another day though if we wish to look over the, the grand final. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank the players, congratulate Gonzalo, an incredible performance uh, and a really good fight, fight from Senator as well. Thank you for Dead Code Ichiko and KRD coming on commentating and thanks for everybody who came in. I hope you all enjoyed today's match. There will be more in future and if you look at the Discord server, that's the link there, you can keep up to date with all the various competitive events in Worms Armageddon. You can also find useful links for other areas, other communities that are involved. You can go to the specific league for each different event. Uh, as we have TUS, we also have CWT, Crespo's Worms Tournament. We also have ONL, which is the only normal league. We also have Chaos League, and we also have Worms Roper, which is a community that came from Worms 2, and they're using a, a part, a feature of 3.8, which tries to recreate the physics of Worms 2, I think. Dead, dead code, what is it that, that that is exactly again? Do you know? Sorry, repeat the question. So the, the Worms Roper, they use the it's the unrestricted rope feature. Um, you can shoot down and it makes the, like, there's it's less tension. The friction. Yes. Oh. It makes it more like yeah. Worms 2. Roper. Yeah, it, it's basically an uh, I can tell you if it's how too. much like Worms 2 it is because I don't have the source code. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. But that, they, they all love that scheme and we actually streamed their finals uh, a while back and it was great. The matches between Blitzed, Hulk and 
Oh, who, who was the other player? I forget their name. I do apologise. But that, that was a great event. And in the future, we plan to do more events like this, streaming the the most the, the top players in the world for all these various schemes and events. That's our goal. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, you can join the Discord if you want to keep up to date with that. So, yeah, thanks, guys, if, you, if you've got anything else you want to say before we, we finish up here. Yeah, I'm still just talking to Senator and Gonzalo about their games and about how they're going to report. But uh, I did want to say that uh, I'm, I'd totally be up to do another stream where we go over this final and analyze and see what could have gone differently using the tool-assisted build with that code, right? Uh, that, I think, would be fun. And it would be good to do it on stream so, so more people can learn about the magic of tool-assisted worms Armageddon, right? Yeah. Sure. I'd be up for that. Well, okay, yeah. guys, I I will leave because my connection has to be paid. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, okay. So it's no not a free connection. Yeah, <laughs> so I pay right. every time I connect. Okay, All so right. thank you. Yeah, good night. Good night, good night, night everybody. Yeah, it's been yeah. fun. There's Bye -bye. No... Thank you, me too. There's nobody... There's, there's nobody else streaming Worms Armageddon right now. Anybody got any ideas of what we can go and raid or whatever? Give someone some support. Mm. You know what I'm going to do, actually, because I don't know if anyone is aware... In fact, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I like to I like to raid other Worms Armageddon streamers, but there's nobody on, so and I, I don't know anything else to raid, so we're just going to wrap things up there. So I hope you all had a good day, um, and I hope you all have a good week. See you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.